All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends. Look like we don't have many people here. Hmm, interesting. Strange. Hmm. Maybe because I did not say inshallah yet. All right. Um, there is a picture in front of me, and this is where garbage people they throw. Garbage. Hmm. But I found that this sentence, it is something we cannot find in the Quran. Think before you speak, read before you think. Hmm. Can we find a sentence, have little wisdom in the Quran like this? This is in the garbage container. Muslims, can we find something similar like this in the Quran? I'm going to open my Skype and I will be happy to take calls from Abdul. Any Abdul. Doesn't matter where Abdul coming from. Does it matter? Doesn't matter how big, how small he is. We take all size. If you are Abdul. <clears throat> and you like uh, <clears throat> to give us something wise in the Quran because you must time you say Allah is all wise all knowledgeable all whatever uh, what I say that Allah is all crazy <clears throat> any Muslim Too many text I'm receiving. Um, hmm. Answering somebody. Anyway, uh, if you need someone to translate from German to English, please. Uh... Anyone want to translate my videos? You can add subtitle to your uh, to the video. You can download it, and you can add any subtitle you wish. Okay, someone he was a Muslim, he is a Christian now. Okay, I will watch your debate. All right, thank you very much. It's hard to answer all those people. It's endless. Let us see.
Okay. I have tons of messages. I'm trying to figure out who's a Muslim between all of those. Somebody asking, does the Quran say uh, Muhammad goes to hell? The Quran says, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُهَا Not even one of you, but he will enter into hell. So Muhammad is one of them. But the, what, the, what the Muslim they say, that uh, they try to say Muhammad is not an exception, he will not. But the Quran is clear. <coughs> Just to answer this person. وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُهَا Not a single one of you, but he will enter it. <coughs> I mean, this website is really funny. Here we go, chapter 19, verse number 71. The Muslim here in translation, they say, will pass over it. This is not a true. Wariduha is not pass over it. If we change the translator. There is not one of you, but will approach it. Look how the translation changed. Anyway, Wariduha, he is going to get into the hell. As you see, every Muslim give you different translation, depend in the mood and how much they try to cover up. Shakir. There is not even one of you, but shall come to it. All right. As you see. Anyway, <clears throat> Muhammad in the hadith he said that everyone his deed will not save him unless Allah warp him with his mercy. And they said to him, Even even you prophet, he said yes, even me. As you see, there's none amongst you, and here the Muslim, by the way, always they, they add the word only, uh, or alone. You see here they say alone, it doesn't say that in the hadith. None amongst you who is his, his he will attain uh, 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 his salvation will be given to him because of his deeds. And the Muslim here, they add the word alone, but in fact, it's not exist. There's no alone here. So deeds will not attain you to salvation. They said to him, even your prophet, he said, even you, he said, not even me. And then he said, but Allah, he warp me with his mercy and grant me burden. So Muhammad claimed that he is a special and Allah grant him burden. Somebody says to you in your book, it says, you said Al-Qurtubi said, etc. He said, and Al-Qurtubi did not say that. Al-Qurtubi is reporting. Well, if I say to you, if somebody said, the Christian prince said, that Ibn Kathir said, that Ibn, uh, uh, etc. said, that uh, Sahih al-Bukhari said, that uh, Ibn uh, uh, Abu Huraira said, well, is he lying? All of them, they are saying that. As long as they wrote that in their books, it means they are saying what somebody else said. Not necessarily he is the one is saying. He is saying what somebody said. I don't know, sometimes people, they are not, uh, they, they, they speak without thinking. That's why I like this picture here, where it says, think before you speak. Read before you think. And actually here, I don't agree, 
because you have to read and think in the same time but I think what the what the what the person who said here but before before you start uh, uh, let us say thinking deep will uh, earn some knowledge you know because if you if your brain is empty of knowledge and you think you will think about what and that and then that will make sense now who is a Muslim want to call us and uh, tell us something wise about Allah yesterday we made a video by the way I don't know how many of you watch it it's in my other account Christian Prince if you if you watch the, the video previous this this one you will find the link for it in the info you click on it and you can go there we did some spanking to Abdul from Germany he have a long beard and we wipe his beard with the floor now do we have any Muslim would like to show us something wise about Allah I don't want to I don't want to show you something bad you see I'm not going to show you something bad you show me anything prove to all to, to us that Allah is wise yeah for sure the Muslim will give no, no like but that's normal each time a Muslim he give this like to my video it's an honor in my shoulder it's like a rank now who is in here as a Muslim would like to call us my Skype is on and then now I see nothing Molaf. Okay. I'm receiving messages from many ex-Muslims. Look like the number is increasing. I mean Arabic. So Anyone? I'm waiting. Yesterday we made a video too about the Muslims. They uh, uh, they say that the Prophet uh, he predicted satellite. But you will notice even if that if what they say is true which is funny it's not true but it says there that will have this is will happen when all the muslims will became sons of bastards gays and lesbian all this prophecy is about muslims so when all the muslims became gays and lesbian sons of bastards homo and the man he will not even sleep with his wife from the front he will sleep with her from the back you know what i mean uh, then then the satellite dish according to them will come <laughs> even though he's not talking about satellite dish yeah anyway funny people and a funny if i showed him a hadith it says mawdu'a the muslim they will say it's fabricated mawdu'a do you see it says fabricated but then if they show us a hadith it's mawdu'a they have no problem with it and they are proud about it but if a Christian prince he show a hadith which is mawdu, they will say this is fabricated. It says mawdu. For me, I don't believe it's mawdu. I don't believe in something that's called mawdu. I don't think I don't believe in something fabricated. This is all lies. Muslims they try to get away with it, and the reason I think they say that this hadith, which is about the Muslim, they claim about satellite. The reason they call it they call it fabricated because it's an insult to every Muslim, because they're prophet claiming that if this is about satellite as they claim. When the when people will have this the what the Muslim claims satellite, all the Muslims will be homo, gays, and lesbian, and nobody will sleep. A man will sleep with the man only, and the women will sleep with the women. And uh, uh, you know, and it said it clearly there. Uh, one of them he said, and you are talking about the Muslims. He said yes, the Muslims. And the guy he said he confirmed. He said, and they have the Quran with their hands. He said, and yes, they have the Quran with their hands. 
anyway now after they notice what I said they will start saying this hadith is wrong they will not name it no more who is a Muslim wanna call me and show me something wise about the Prophet of Allah or about his God Allah my Skype is open today I'm not going to talk about any topic except unless you Muslims you don't want to call me we are trying to discover the wisdom of Allah I will show you some of the wisdom of Allah my friend you want to see as long Muslims will not call us huh let us see we go in the Quran have you ever heard of somebody saying to his son don't speak loud because the most sound Allah he hate is the sound of the donkey I mean this is wise what the sound of the donkey have have to do with the sound of this man why a man saying to his son huh? chapter 31 verse number 19 this chapter here there's a guy his name is Luqman and Muhammad for sure he's copying from the Jews here but always he he, he fabricate his own stories and look what he says and pursue the right course in your going about and about and lower your voice surely the most hateful of voices is the brain of the asses <laughs> that's wise so you want to say to your son don't speak loud and then you say to him the most hateful voice to Allah is the voice of a donkey why is that what is the connection any Muslim what is the connection between the voice the voice of the donkey and the voice of the son of Luqman any Abdul so if you want to say to your son don't hire your voice don't speak loud you will say to him the most voices because the most voices Allah he hate is the voice of the donkey that's wise Hmm? and for sure he will learn a lot I mean hmm. collection of stories of other people other religions other books Muhammad he take it he put it in his book and then he adds some fabrication to it and make it look funny Yeah, already we have a 12 dislike for the video uh, but yet not even a Muslim would like to call us like the Abduls you know the Abdul they insult me they call me names they say Christian Prince is a liar but they don't dare to call me and get me busted like the guy from Germany yesterday I made him shish kebab any Muslim No, please don't say Muhammad is a donkey. Uh, we, and uh, for me, I respect donkeys. They are uh, harmless, peaceful, and they are good animals. So we can't compare. Have you ever heard of a donkey doing suicide bombing? No. And actually, you know, mistakenly, people think donkeys are uh, stupid. Uh, donkeys are smart. <clears throat> uh, once uh, I went with the friends to the mountains and then they are the villager you know he was uh, his worry about we how they will come back so he told us uh, when you want to come back uh, because we want to do hiking and it's going to be we will lose our way it's wood mountains it's crazy so he said when you want to take the donkey with you we said why he said just take him and when you want to go back just let him go and just follow him and he was right we went all over there's no way we'll find our place to go back because there's no roads there is everything looked the same 
So we just left the donkey and the donkey he was our guide now can Muhammad guide you He cannot I'm, I'm you know, this is not a story from Sahir Bukhari. This is a story. I experienced me myself Do we have any Abdul would like to call us maybe maybe we are seeking the wisdom of Allah. Allah is all knowing and the most wise. Hmm. How is that? Anyone? Any Muslim? Maybe, maybe. Who is a Muslim he like to go to heaven right now? Because my friend, if you defend Allah, Allah will grant you heaven and then he will give you extra, you know, I mean, features. Uh, the wives you will have there, they will have big nipples. Uh, they might even have up to seven nipples because the Quran says whatever you wish. Whatever you wish. You want to have seven nipples? Why you want to have two? <laughs> I mean, if you are in heaven and you have a lot of women around you, why you want to have a woman have two breasts only? Get seven. Or eight, you know. This is the God who says whatever you wish. Do Allah even know what He's talking about when He says whatever they wish? Do your God Allah knows what He's talking about when He said you can get whatever you wish? Let us see what uh, Mr. Fahim he said. Mr. Fahim is a nice person. He's a Muslim. He's welcome here. If you do good, Allah will allow you to paradise. Prophet Muhammad said, you will have 10 times like the earth, uh, Jannah, paradise. Uh, Fahim, don't you see that what you said to me with my respect to you, that your prophet, he said something stupid? Let me tell you something. I will have 10 times from what I have in earth. Okay, what if somebody have 10 cents in his pocket? So now you will make it one dollar? What does that mean and what kind of heaven but let me correct you my friend your, your, your prophet he did not say ten time he says ten time of a, a, a king in the earth so you will be more rich ten time than a king in this earth okay what if he's a king have a bankruptcy like the king of Jordan forget about it what if he is very rich king and you became ten times rich than any king what you will do with money in heaven when everything is for free what is Allah the all wise here? Who is the stupid? If the ground in the heaven is going to be rubies and jewelries and diamonds, and then you say to him, I will make you 10 times rich in the heaven. I mean, who is the stupid here? So you go to the mall in heaven and you say, Hey, I want to buy a Ferrari. They say to you, It's for free, sir. No, no, no. I have a money. I have a lot of money. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. Let me show you. I am 10 times richer than any king. Uh, sir, it's for free. You don't understand. Let me show you my credit card. I have an unlimited credit from Allah. I can spend money. I'm rich here. My, fr my friend, it's for free. You are in heaven. I don't care. You make me upset now. I want to spend the money. Allah made me 10 times rich. So how silly to say that, my friend. How silly to promise somebody that he will be 10 times more rich than any king in the earth if everything is for free. I forgot by the way not everything for for free in the heaven of Allah there's a market to buy images and magazine for sex if you remember you see it this is the only thing you can buy in the heaven Indeed in paradise. There is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except which means there is buying and selling But there is except what there is only one product and the product is playboy of Allah Images of men and women. What the heck? So now hey guys, I'm going to go to the mall. Hey CB. Where are you going? I'm going to go to the mall to buy some images CB, don't forget to you take your credit card. Absolutely, I'm going to take the credit card of Allah. He made me 10 times richer than any king in the earth. And then I go to the mall 
and then they show me images of men and women and look what look look at this disaster the the, the customers all of them they are men whenever a man desire an image he enter it like what the heck so you will be a homo you go to the heaven you find an image of Sylvester Stallone and you say you wanna uh, you like him what does that mean that images of men and women and when the man he desire an image he enter it Somebody is asking what hadith hadith means speech so a speech made by Muhammad or his companion the prophet of Islam If you ask me for definition Hadith mean diarrhea because when Muhammad he speak he have a diarrhea as you see They call it speech. I call it diarrhea This guy he when he opened his mouth the diarrhea come look at this he is he is seducing his men with having sex with images so even Playboy, it turned to be not American magazine, it turned to be Islamic magazine long before Muhammad. It is da'if, everything is everything is embarrassing in Islam, they say it's da'if. How is it going to be da'if? And this is Jami'a al-Turmudi. Jami'a al-Turmudi is one of the six of the authentic books. So now it's da'if. And by the way, even if it's da'if, it's accepted, in case you do not know. Because da'if hadith is not rejected. Only donkeys think that the if hadith is rejected the if hadith it's accepted it's not rejected let us see do we have any muslim abu bilal Hmm. Let us see. All right. So, who is a Muslim will not call us and show us something wise? We are waiting for the wisdom of Allah and the wisdom of His Prophet. Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call, please? And we will speak to you nicely as long as you speak to us nicely. Don't shout, don't scream, don't curse. The second you curse, I will read Quran for you. Which is very painful. Hmm? You know, I, I, uh, like Muhammad always, he says something uh, wise, and his God always says something wise. I mean, every page in the Quran is wise, from the first chapter to the last chapter. I mean, it's a non-stop non wise uh, book, non-stop. I mean, you cannot believe how how wise it is. You know, as an example, chapter 16, verse number 8, it says that Allah He created the horses and the mule and the donkeys so you can ride them. The Muslim is that true? Allah created the mule. How that happened? So, the uh, Allah He created an animal by itself, it's called the mule. I mean, this is very wise. Since when the mule is created by Allah? As I know, that a mule is a fruit of one night stand dating in night club between a horse and a donkey. As I know. Yet Allah, he claimed that he is the one who created the mule. I can accept to say he is saying he created the horse and the donkey, no problem. But he is the one who created the mule. How that happened? And isn't it the Quran said we created from everything male and female? Okay, what is the female for Mr. Mule? 
Then you Muslim. Everything we created is male and female, and we create them in pairs. What is the spouse of Mr. Mule? We have a Mula. We have Mrs. Mula. Anyone? Any two? Any three? Hmm? Not only that, actually, the Quran claim that Allah, He is the one who, who clothes us with feather and He sent it from heaven. That's amazing. I'm not sure when the last time I saw a human being wearing feather. Maybe Allah was talking about uh, the Red Indian, American Indian. Read, Ya Bani Adam, chapter 7, verse number 26. Feather. Where is the feather here? Where is the feather? The translation, the word feather, disappear. Anyone see the word feather? I don't see it. Where is the feather? What a liar, this translator. He took the feather out. Let us change the translation. Translation. Let us see duty, Mr. Duty. This is Mr. Bean. Oh, children of Adam, indeed we have sent down to you garment to which cover your shame, provide protection. Where is the feather? Like, what happened to the feather? What the heck? It has changed the translator. Liars, liars will end in hellfire. Okay, let us see. Do we have feather here? No feather still. Oh boy. We cannot find the feather. What happened to the feather? Why the Muslims are hiding it in the translation? Okay, hold on. Let us change the translator. Until we find feather. Feather is missing in the translation. They are trying to hide it because it's funny and stupid. Big tell. Any feather? No feather still. The feather still is missing. Somebody stole, stole the feather. <laughs> Do you see how much proud they are about their uh, holy book? To the point they are hiding the translation. They are taking words out of there. Where is the word feather? I cannot see it. Shame, you will be adorned. Where is the, where is the word feather? What the heck? I changed many how many translator until now okay hold on hold on I don't know uh, this is really weird let us see uh, translation would translate what is that what is this oh what the heck is this, this language is what is the ah you see uh, uh, let me show you something here do you see when a Muslim he's he claimed that he read Arabic for you do you know you know what I'm talking about you give a guy from Nigeria and he says to you, okay, I'm going to read for you the verse in Arabic, but he cannot read Arabic. He claimed that he is reading Quran. Look what they read. Yeah, Bani Adama. You see it? It, it sounds the same as Arabic. So they are writing the Arabic words in Latin letters. So when he read them for you, you think he is reading in Arabic. Did you see how what they do? يا بني آدم قد أنزلنا عليكم لباسا. Okay. This is how they deceive people. They claim that they knew Arabic. Okay. What translation? We did not show yet. Hmm. Should I give up? I don't know. Let us see this one. We try. This one is what. Do you see anywhere feather? We don't see feather still. Where is the feather? Nobody want to put the word feather there.
let us see um, Ahmed Ali let us see Ahmed Ali Ahmed Ali I think we showed in the beginning yeah there is no feather the word feather is gone the Muslims are trying to hide it no feather but I insist to find the feather there is no way I will call the police another garment and you know, where is the word feather the feather is gone I can't believe it Mm. Arbery, let us see Arbery. Ah, finally we found the feathers. Finally, unbelievable! Man, it took us like an hour to find the feather. Do you see the feathers? Allah He sent down the feathers for us. Hmm. So why it was hiding all this time? You don't see feather in the in the sense and you speak Arabic. Hey, let me teach you Arabic, Abdul. Here we go. Warishan, you see it? So don't tell me you speak Arabic. You do not know Arabic. And if you know Arabic, why you don't call me? And I will let you read it uh, live, Mister Feather. You said in Arabic, you speak Arabic, and there's no feather, huh? Should I order you now to, to stand in the corner next to the door of the class in one foot for 15 minutes for line? Is that the word reach and feather or not? But look what this Abdul he said to himself. He's okay, Christian Prince, he's trying to find the word feather for the last 15 minutes and he cannot find it. So I can lie and say there's no feather there. But hope, guess what? We found it finally. Here we go. The translator, he put it there. Getting you busted. Do you see it? The brothers, I speak Arabic too, and there's no feather there. If we ask Zakir Naik about how Allah He sent us feather, what he will say? Brother Sitter, did the person he named the Christian prince, and he always make fun of the clown. And he said how Allah He sent He sent down feather. The fact all the American Indian they wear feather until now, and you can watch any movie. So this is true. Allah, he sent us feather so we can close with it. And he's a liar. American Indian, as I know, the American Indian, they put the feather in their head not to cover their ass, Abdul. Hmm? So Allah, he sent down feather to us. Why? We are chicken? Hmm? And Allah is the one who sent us the garment too, so my underwear is made by Allah. Hmm. That's wise. Actually, every day I open the door, I find the delivery. You know, I call UBS, they said we did not. I called the post office, they say we did not. I called Prophet Muhammad, he says we did. So where is the wise Quran? I'm just looking for something wise in this book. Anyone? Hmm? You know, one of the wisest stuff Muhammad, he taught the Muslims to do, which I find astonishing, that they have to kiss the black stone. And I find that that's a very revolutionary thing. Look, always we are tough with stones. But now it's time to give a stone a hug. You know, men, they like to kiss women. Women, they kiss men. But now it's time to kiss a stone. Revolutionary time. Uh, let us see. Uh, for sure this is wise especially this is stone look look like a <coughs> a women a private part look how beautiful this stone is alhamdulillah alhamdulillah unbelievable there is no women a private part in the world can compete with this beautiful very sexy 
astonishing. Any Muslim can tell us what is the wisdom behind kissing the stone? Is that a vagina? Hmm? Hello? It is a vagina. This is the stone of fertility. And the Arab they use they used to do their hack not hajj hack would mean the men they scratch their penis inside the black stone and the women they scratch their hand inside the black stone after they touch their vagina when they have their period hoping that the black stone or the god of the black stone Baal or a, a, a lad uh, uh, is going uh, uh, to make them fertilize them and make them have babies and by the way a lad if you go in the hadith, you will see that Abu Bakr he says, Um lat, go and suck the clitoris of a lad. And that clitoris used to be inside the black stone, as I believe. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. And for sure, the Muslim will not translate to you in English what it says in Arabic. But if we go in Arabic, you will see here it says, and I change any Muslim to say I'm lying, it says, Qala Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, go and suck the clitoris of the vagina of a lad. Do you see it, Muslims? If we look in the English translation, we will not find that. Who is a Muslim? He speaks Arabic when I call me and say to me, I'm lying. Who is a Muslim? Abdul. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Are you serious too? If we are serious, both of us, we can play cards. We can play, we can bring a lad and manat and al uzza eh. Allah have three daughters. One of them, she have a vagina and it is the god of fertility and she have a clitoris where everybody kiss it. Any Muslim? <coughs> Look what Mr. Fahim he said. <coughs> Sorry for that. Mr. Fahim he said, let us show you what he said. We will zoom in his text. CB the Kaaba stone is the best place to worship our creator Allah. Please understand. We pray toward the Kaaba. <laughs> I am telling you, Islam is a wise religion. Anybody understand why? why okay, why? Why the Kaaba? Why the Kaaba? You have to pray in direction of the Kaaba, and why you kiss the black stone, and why you think the stone is holy? Give us the answer. Once I went to a Muslim website and I said to them, "Why the Prophet of Allah kiss the black stone?" They said, "Because it's holy." I said, "Why it's holy?" They said because he kissed it. <laughs> My brother Muslims, you are very, very funny. You are very funny and very wise. Very wise, you have to admit, brother. So why the prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kiss it. Here we go. So Fahim, why your prophet kiss it? Why your prophet kiss it? I'm waiting for the answer. Because it's holy and why it's holy because he kiss it. I'm telling you Islam is all wise my friend We are not we are not joking around here Think before you speak read before you think Somebody says that to Allah at least for a second Any Muslim <clears throat> Anyone? Any two? Sold. The Quran is in auction. Nobody wanna buy it. You have many Dutch people here. That's good. That's good. Option Akshish Maist. 
I have no idea what I said. I hope I did not say something wrong. <laughs> uh, when I went to Germany last time, the security, they said to me, where are you from? I told him from America. He told me, I mean, where are you from? I said, I mean, from America. He said, I mean, where are you from? I said, I told you from America. The guy, look at the other guy. <laughs> I don't play then you know they they think I'm a terrorist so they said to me what do you have with your uh, what do you have there in the I said Quran they look at me and their eyes is open they said what you have what I said Quran <laughs> would make it more worse <laughs> things getting like and they are getting excited like what you know the second I said Quran it was only one of them talking to me and the guy next to him is just listening the second I said Quran, like there's five in the table, they look at me. You know, huh? What, uh, is it? Can we see? I said, sure. Uh, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. You know? <laughs> and they start going through my bags and looking in every pocket. And they asked me to empty my pockets. And unbelievable how beautiful it was. And then, uh, so what are you coming to do in Germany? I said to meet some brothers. The second I say the brothers, things is getting even more crazy. Did he say brothers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. They said to himself, this guy, 100% guaranteed he's from ISIS. And then they hold my tooth, uh, my tooth uh, base. They said, what is inside? I said, it, you know, what, what do you think is going to be inside? <laughs> Everything about me is suspicious. Anyway, I told them at the end to make it the story short, think before you speak and read before you think. And this is how it ended. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Hmm? Actually, always when I go in the airport to go fast, especially in America, I take, I get my phone and I start speaking Arabic and I say, Alhamdulillah, shukran brother, Alhamdulillah, mashallah, mashallah. I hang up my phone, but I'm not talking to anyone. In a second, they will say, the, the security, they will come to me and they will say, uh, they put a circle around your ticket and they say, um, can you go there? Like a special check, you know? So they don't wait in the line. It's a very busy line. It will take you two hours to finish. And they're right away after you, they will choose any redhead after you to make it look like we are not being, you know, about you being an Arab or a Muslim. No, no, no. So they choose anyone behind me or before me. He is a redhead and he have to be a redhead. I never saw them doing that unless it is a redhead. So they choose somebody is a redhead and they put the circle like him around me and they say to him, go with him, you know, do the special check. We finish in two minutes, bingo, we are in the airplane. Very good. But in, last time I did that, it did not work. And I was very upset. I mean, what's wrong? Security. I said, inshallah. I said, alhamdulillah. I said, uh, uh, call you later when we are landing. I mean, I said all the words which is going to be fishy and suspicious, but nobody get, came to me and gave me the circle around my ticket for a special check. Very disgusting. Very disappointing. Any Abdul? Yeah, I think already they know me. <laughs> you are smart. You are smart. They know me already. They, they learned that. They learned the trick. Unbelievable. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so where is the Abdul? Are we going to wait for Abdul for a second? We used to have a lot of Abdul when I call. What happened? Why we are dry now? Are you there, Fahim? Why you don't call me Fahim? Your name is Fahim. Fahim, Fahim means smart. Or someone he understand. <clears throat> Anyone? Is it dangerous what you did at the airport? No. You see, there is things you cannot joke around if you say like bomb or etc you cannot say that there that's that would be a crime even by saying it you cannot joke around it 
but say alhamdulillah mashallah <laughs> that's that's legal my friend yeah alhamdulillah mashallah allahu akbar <laughs> oh boy mm. actually i go in the airplane and i start reviewing the view like the, the news on my phone in arabic and the guy next to me usually they ask for a changing of a place and i have the whole seat by myself which is very nice it's fun it's fun to be an arab it's very fun where are you from america i mean where are you from uh, america i mean where are you from he wanna he wanna he's waiting for me to say from which country in the middle east <laughs> you know keep waiting so uh do we have any uh, any beautiful muslim would like to call us or handsome muslima how they let me go to germany no actually uh after you go first time or you know you go it's, it's easy like because i last time i went to germany twice actually uh but only in the first time they check they don't have any file about you so any abdul who is a muslim here who is a muslim want to give us something wise about allah like we spoke about allah he speak about how the baby is created the sperm coming from the backbone and the ribs. We don't want to repeat that. I mean, come on, this has became boring. We want something wise, more wise. Who is who is a Muslim when I call us and show us something wise? Allah, he said. Until now, all what we heard from Allah is really, really stupid. Hmm? What do you think? Fahim, he cannot call me because he have to wait for his mother-in-law to let him use the phone. Arab women are very strict, and I think he is not an Arab. I think he's a Pakistani. Uh, those Muslim women, they are very strict, and usually they beat their husbands if they use minutes are not allowed in the phone. Most of Arab men don't dare to use the phone when the wife is not there because when she come back, Allah knows what will happen. He would wash dishes, he would do laundry, he would wipe the floor, and she would wipe the floor with him. According, <clears throat> according to uh, studies, most of domestic violence in Morocco is women beating their husbands. Women beating their husbands. Moroccan women are very strong. Moroccan women, men are bye-bye. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You can go and search for it. We are not making things up. Domestic violence in, in, in Morocco is not the man beating the women. It's the women beating the man. Uh, CP only speak two languages. Who said that to you? Who said that to you? Don't you know that the Quran says that we taught them the language of birds? Listen. The funny that Allah he said that he taught Suleiman the language of the bird, but the guy he was understanding the language of the ants. <laughs> Unbelievable. How Allah he taught him the language of the birds, but yet the guy he understand the language of the ants. Hmm? Let us see.
Okay. I understand, you know, that's, uh, you know, Allah is, uh, he, he opened a school of languages, but I did not understand why he taught him the language of the birds. Yet he was able to understand the language of the ants. And Solomon was David higher and said, men, we have been taught the speech of the birds. So I want to hear Suleiman making a speech to the birds. Uh, this is a bird that's taking shahada, converting to Islam. Yeah. He was saying, Sarsur Akbar. Sarsur Akbar. Any Abdul? I mean, what is, is that the wisdom of your God? What is the what is the point of those chapters and those verses? What is that? Suleiman, he have an army contained genie and men and birds, birds in the army of Suleiman. Introduce yourself, General Chicken. What happened to your voice? Why you are doing that, Sir Chicken Brigade? An army of birds, a genie, and a human. Don't you think there's something missing there? What about an army of rats and cats and dogs? Why birds? I mean, what, what is that? So this is the Air Force? You see, we are talking about Allah is all-knowing and the most wise. So what is the wisdom that Suleiman he have an army of genie and men and birds? What is missing there? Hello? Are you there, Fahim? Who is a Muslim can tell? At, at least tell us in text. You don't want to call me, no problem. Who want to tell us what is the point of having an army of birds and jinn? Why other prophet don't have that? Genie? An army of shaitan? An army of a chicken and birds, all the birds. Obviously, this is all wise and all uh, knowledgeable. This is don't think that this is a, a, a sin bad story. No, I know, I know some of you are thinking that this is sin bad. Absolutely not. This is have nothing to do with sin bad. You are being stupid now. This is have nothing to do with Sinbad. Sinbad story is different details. Yes, there is a Sinbad story where an army of birds will attack, etc. But you will see that it's not the same story. There are some uh, differences in the story. Okay? Oh, boy. Same bad story, same bad. Hmm. Where is the flying carpet? I'm trying to find the flying carpet here. This is the castle of Suleiman. The king was there. He have ministers from the birds and ministers from the genie and ministers from a human. The genie, some of them, they are diving and looking for diamonds and pearls in the deep sea. And some of the shayateen, they are arrested for not obeying Suleiman. The army of the birds are looking for worms because this is the favorite meal of Suleiman in the morning. And for sure, this is a true story. Any Muslims? 
Do you know Angry Birds? My friend, the birds was mentioned in the Quran is the hoodhood. Do you know the hoodhood? Let me show you the hoodhood, my friend. This is the army of the birds of Sulaiman. Take a look. <clears throat> I think Muhammad he thought of this bird highly because it have this feather in the top so he must be a general that's why he thought he is a general or for Suleiman and he is the, the leader of the army of the birds anyone knows what the name of this bird in English You know, it's a small bird actually. It's very cute. You know, it's a small bird. We see it in the Middle East. But since Muslim, they have guns. We don't see them no more. They shoot at anything they around them. Yeah. No, this is not a rooster. It's a small, small. It's a small bird. It's a very beautiful bird actually. But look how legions are made. You know about those birds, and Muhammad suddenly he add this story in the Quran and he make it about this bird, who. Uh, uh, who was in the ranks between the birds of Suleiman and his army and one day Suleiman he asked where is the bird if you don't give me a good excuse I'm going to slaughter him do him make him barbecue I will take his feather one by one I mean torture time so true story any Muslim Thank you for those who say God bless you and hello. Sorry if I did not answer you, because as you see, I'm busy with the birds. This is this is the minister of defense of the army of Suleiman. Guys, if you are a friend to this guy, he can get you a very good job in the army. So don't don't make fun. I mean, this guy he can grant you a good job. Maybe in the intelligence service, maybe in the CIA. You never know. I mean, this guy is the one in charge. He is just right hand of uh, our Prophet Suleiman. So if I am you, I will try to build a good communication with this bird. You know, be friend with him, invite him to your house, give him some worms, you know, some sarsour, cockroaches. You know, he likes cockroaches, as I to I've been told. Uh, we don't want to go there here. What do you think, Muslims? This is the wisdom of Allah. I mean, this is this is Quran now. This is the book of Allah. <clears throat> and when Suleiman, Suleiman, he arrived to the valley of the ants. By the way, the the valley of the ants. Um, if you take the highway one o seven, and then to go to highway one o two, and then you get to go to highway one o o o, you you take an exit. Okay. And then you exit the valley of the cockroaches and then the first exit after that for the valley of rats and the, from the valley of rats don't forget that you will see a sign it says no christian prince allowed okay this place here you, you take you, you don't take this exit you take the exit after that and then you pass that that uh, that uh, road and in the left side there is a bridge don't take the bridge in the left and the right side there's a bridge too don't take that bridge too in the other left there is a bridge too don't take that bridge continue going and then in the right side you will find a bridge take that bridge but by the way this bridge is the wrong one so you have to exit now uh, and now continue please talking walking and then you keep going you keep going you keep going enter you see a sign it says chicken only okay you enter because this is a sign of deception of Allah it says a chicken only but the fact this is a, this is a valley for the ants so they, you don't want anyone to know what to find this valley it's like kind of deception, you know, like a chicken only. So you enter this uh, place, and then it says a sign. It says scorpion only. The scare you, scare the hell of you, so you will not enter. Scorpion, and then cobra only. Keep going, don't worry. Cobra only, and then you see poison only, and then Azrael, which means the angel of death only. And then you enter, you find yourself in the valley of the ants. This is why nobody can find it until now. 
and in the value of the ants, there's an ant there. Until now, she's alive. And she is the only talking ant between all her sisters. She speaks seven languages, including Arabic for sure. So the ant, she said to the other ants, hide otherwise Solomon, he is going to crush you. Hmm. And you are telling me the Quran is not the book of wisdom? We learn a lot from this story. We learn now there is a valley, it's called the valley of the ant. Until now, they could not find it. Why? Because you have a lack of in, in, uh, intelligence. Allah, He found it long time ago. How Muhammad He knew this 1400 years ago when science was not like now, unless He is a prophet of God. Hmm. Uh, you are mocking the God of Jesus. Look what this guy, guys, look what this guy, Muslim, he said. Christian friends, I remind you. I'm scared now. You are mocking the God of Jesus. And you are insulting the prophet of God. Where is the benefit of that? So your prophet, he can call us pigs, he can call us monkeys, he can say we are the worst of the creatures, he can call us nudges, he can call us bastards, he can call us we are the fuel of hellfire, yet we cannot insult him back. Uh, by the way, your cousin, the cousin of your prophet, he said to your prophet, I don't believe in the Lord, the star. So Allah, prophet, he said, Allah, send him your dog and Allah he sent his dog and he ate the guy <laughs> why your prophet you don't invoke his God to send me his dog to eat me hmm? why hypocrites secondly my friend when you say you are insulting the God of Jesus do you even have the name of Jesus in your Quran can you find me the name of Jesus in your Quran? The whole Quran does not exist. The name Jesus does not exist. It's not correct in Arabic. It's not correct in is there nothing correct. Where is the name of Jesus there? Show it to me. My friend, my Messiah is the Lord of the world, and Muhammad is going to burn in hell fire. This is what your prophet he brought for you: a book of fairy tales and stupidity. Why you don't call and defend your cult? A Muslim, he insults us Christians five times a day. They took our land. They torture our, our people. They force us to pay jizya. They humiliate us. They took our churches. They, they kidnap our women and they say, why you are insulting our God? Your God is the devil. Do you believe Muhammad was exist? Yes, I believe, but maybe the name is not accurate because Muhammad is not a name, is a title. There's nothing. Nothing is called Muhammad. Muhammad is is uh, is a title of a praised one. Muhammad he's trying to replace Jesus. Simply, he's trying to say, "I am God. Worship me." That's why he called himself the praised one. Do we have any Muslim? And look, this Muslim who said something, now he played dead. He don't even want to post anything in the text. It's gone. He is sleeping. <laughs> who is a beautiful Muslim or a handsome Muslim I would like to call us? What is the wisdom of forbidding women from taking hair from her face? As long as Allah is all wise, and all knowing. Any Muslim can tell us <clears throat> what is the wisdom of cursing the one who remove a woman, she remove hair from her face. I 
I want to know the wisdom, please. A woman, she is hairy, and she have too much hair in her face. Is that make Allah happy that she have a mustache? What is the business of your prophet and your God? What is the wisdom of saying that the man, he can shave his mustache, but the woman, she cannot take hair from her face? What is the wisdom behind? Please, who is a Muslim want to tell us? Who is a Muslim of you men, Muslim men, would like to see a woman, she have a beard? Be honest. Huh? Do you like to have a woman she have a beard? Obviously you do. Otherwise you tell me what is the point of this? The prophet is cursing a woman she remove hair from her faces for beautification. So Allah get excited and happy if he see a woman she have a goat beard. I never saw a Muslim woman she don't take hair from her faces. All of you did not you don't follow Muhammad. Not only they take care from their faces, Muslim women, nobody use makeup as much as they do. They put like seven kilos of, pro, of, of makeup in their face before they leave the house. I remember once I was in a building full of Muslims. When I go in the elevator, I can't breathe. The women, they have perfume like crazy. It's like, you know, they are showering themselves by perfume. To attract men for me I feel like I'm going to vomit in Emirat in Bahrain in Dubai in Saudi Arabia those are the biggest countries in the world who buy perfume go check it out What hijab? The Muslim women, they wear hijab, but you can see that their jeans is going through. I'm not, I'm not going to give details. You know what I'm talking about. Their jeans is so tight to the point as if they are wearing nothing. And I think it takes them like an hour to wear it. Oh... Uh... No, a woman, she can take hair from her vagina. She can take hair from under arm, but she is not allowed to take hair from her face. So what is the wisdom? They say to you, you are not allowed to change the way Allah he made you. So the prophet, here we go. The prophet himself, he removed hair from his body. Well, Allah, he gave you hair. How come the prophet, he can do it, the Muslim woman, she can? What is the difference is taking hair from your private part? But you cannot take it from your face. You are speaking about Muhammad. Can you try to give us your view of this? If there is any proof or evidence like historical text and hadith, <coughs> Muhammad, he's killing people for killing people. No, my, my friend, uh, Muhammad, he, he said it clearly, I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they accept me as a prophet. The whole point of killing is to say Muhammad a prophet. Muhammad never fought for justice, never defend. He is the attacker. The Muslims, they lie, they say to us, he was defending the fact it's not true. Muhammad, he sent three letters to three kings saying, convert or else. And as you see, all those hadith are sahih. All of them. And the only way to stop Muhammad from shading your blood is you accepting Islam. You see it? All those references. Sahih. Not only accept Islam. You have even to slaughter as he slaughter. You have to pray as he pray. You have to pray in the direction he pray. You have to, to eat as he eat. Everything you do, as he said, otherwise he will slaughter you still. Muhammad uh, uh, did not order to kill the Jewish tribe. We are right. 
actually Muhammad he was killing them by his hand by his own hand let us see <clears throat> Try to find the hadith. Uh, where is the hadith? This website is the worst. Like it doesn't have like uh, advanced search. So when you type something, it give you whatever connected. Let us see. So when they say to you, Muhammad himself, he did not kill the Jews, this is a big fat lie. They say to you, he did not order, he, is, he was killing them by his hand. Read with me. <clears throat> no woman of Bani Quraidha was killed except one. She was with me. The one is talking who is Aisha. Sorry, uh, uh, Aisha, yeah. Uh, uh, talking and laughing on her back and Billy this woman she lost her mind because Muhammad is killing her people extremely while the messenger of Allah was killing her people with the swords do you see it they said to you the Prophet himself he did not <laughs> order to kill them he is the one who was killing them never trust a Muslim my friend a Muslim is the last one to say something truthful about Islam. And here you will see, because this woman, the poor woman, she is laughing from madness. She is losing her mind because she saw her family slaughtered one by one. So a man from the Muslims, he called her. He said, where are you? She came and he said, what's wrong with you? Which means why you are laughing? She said, I did, I did a new act. I'm like, I'm going crazy. She said, the man took her and beheaded her. Do you see it? He beheaded her for she is laughing. And while Muhammad is killing her people by the sword, one by one. So don't make the Muslims fool you, my friend. Let us see. Too many texts. Too many text messages, but nobody is a Muslim, so I'm not going to answer you. Sorry. I mean, if everybody texts me, uh, somebody says there is a lady in the chat. She is asking, okay. Well, what is not what is not fake about Islam? What is is the heaven? The heaven where the God will give you uh, women, they have nice boobs. Do you think this is real? Or the God who do not know how the baby is created, he think it's a sperm who became a clot, and then the clot became loom, and then the loom became bones, and then at the end we put a flesh on it. A God who don't remember which one he created first. A God he think the sperm of the women coming from the ribs when women have no sperm. So what I need to prove to you, all of Islam is a stupid. All right. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's not the Christians don't know Muhammad, my friend. Uh, our friend here says Yeshua said it is finished. Uh, this man, this mean the uh, Christian do not need Muhammad. Muhammad, nobody need him. Muhammad is the devil. Whatever the religion of Muhammad goes, beheading goes, slaughtering goes, 
peace run away women kidnapped killing security is gone I mean name one place there's Muhammad there and it's good to live in the less Muhammad is exist in the area the less the people they suffer from slaughtering and killing as an example in Saudi Arabia if a woman she walk alone just to walk alone she is a target of 1,000 dogs they will eat her alive why because the religion of Muhammad did not make them better people so if they see a woman in the, alone in the street she is something to snatch Islam make the women a walking talking vagina they don't see her even as a human if you go to Dubai Dubai is an Islamic country supposedly but because nothing left of Islam in Dubai this is why in Dubai life is a lot better than Saudi Arabia we can't compare why in Saudi Arabia they are neighboring countries why in Saudi Arabia if a woman she walk alone they will kidnap her immediately and one million dog they will follow her and they will rape her but if a woman she walk in Dubai she's okay mostly the only difference is this is a Sharia law country and this is no law it's no Sharia law country as simple as that the second you bring Islam to the territory everything to turn to be savagery human being turned into savage You go in Islamic country, if a woman walking alone in the street, she will hear 1,000 words before she arrive home if they don't try to touch her butt, if they do not try to, to snap her, touch her boobs. Go and see. Go right now and see. Uh, 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 type in, in YouTube, women harassment in Egypt or any Islamic country. If women she go in the bus, there's one thousand dogs. They will round around her, starting to touch her, touching her ass. And she will she will leave the bus, and she is a breadnet. Number one country in the world search for sex with donkeys and rape is Pakistan, and they are very religious. very religious and they say america have a have a have a playboy uh, stations but who how many people in america they are the one who really watch this uh, station go in the middle east i remember once uh, i was in the roof you know in the middle east like we have like a, we have a garden in the roof so i was there and suddenly everybody in the roof changing the direction of the satellite. I don't know why. I went downstairs. I said, what happened? Is the satellite working? It's working. Everybody has satellite there. Satellite dish. So uh, later, you know, I was a teenage. I, I went out in the afternoon to walk with my friends. And then they said to me, did you change the direction of satellite? I said, why? He said, they changed the location of the porn stations. And then I understand why everybody was in the roof changing the direction of the dish. Because nobody is watching normal channels. They have the dish just to watch porn. The whole country is watching porn. But the whole country is religious. The whole country go to the mosque five times a day. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And, and and you know at the end of the day why you blame them the heaven of Islam is nothing but porn if if the God of Islam he is the God of porn why they will not watch porn huh? if this is what their God teach them this is the promise of the God in the heaven there's images of men and women for sex you like the image you get inside it and you have sex with it and the customer is man and the images of images of men and women which mean you can be a gay
Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Yeah, somebody saying to me that the Arabic text in uh, in Kindle is not good. Uh, this is why it's better to get the book in a paper Kindle because their software is not does not accept the Arabic text. So if you buy it in Kindle, it does not appear correctly. So I advise you to get the book in paper. Actually, this is why I'm not publishing my books, the later books in Kindle, because all the Arabic text is messed up. They, they could not fix this issue. I don't know why. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? So after what? We are here for an hour until now zero Abdul. Zero Muslim want to show us one wise thing about Allah? No, I'm not drinking coffee. Sorry. I wish. I miss it actually. I drink coffee once a while because uh, I'm having allergy from coffee. The prophet he advised us to drink camel urine, and uh, Allah is punishing me for not drinking camel urine. This is what happened to you when you don't follow the advice of the prophet. What is the wisdom of a drinking urine, Muslims? There's article written by Muslims that urine is extremely useful. So why you don't go? Why you go to to clinic in America? Why when you, when one of you is rich, he he don't drink the camel urine and stay home? Why you go and buy antibiotic and why you go to the pharmacy and why you go to the doctor? Why you don't buy and drink camel urine? Hmm. I won't see the Muslims don't go to pharmacies, no hospitals. Stay healthy, my friend, and just drink camel urine and eat honey. The prophet he said, eat honey. Do we have any Muslim? Okay, I have to give up what I can do. There is no Muslims here. Hmm. Let us see. No Muslims, no Muslims. <clears throat> we are out of them. Okay. I'm just trying to find you something. Just for a fun. Dr. Moore, Dr. Moore, okay. Human development. Page what? Page what? Page what? Page what? The fifth edition, page number eight. Uh, but this guy is a Muslim, right? No, this is just a medical doctor. No, he's a doctor. No, he's a Muslim. We know his name. His name is mentioned in all Islamic books because he's a Muslim. Now, that Allah converted to Islam? Yeah. That's a foolish thing to say. Really? What if that's I show it to you from the Quran? That's a foolish thing to say. Okay, read for me chapter 3, verse number 18. <laughs> you read it to me. No, you read it. You are the Muslim. I, you told me where. I'm, I'm showing you. You read it. Chapter 3, verse number 18. It says, Allah, Allah, he said shahada. Allah said, Shahid Allah, Shahid Allah, Shahid Allah, Shahid Allah, Anna ilaha illa huwa. How that happened? How Allah witness that there is no... It's this what it says in front of your eyes, my, my friend. It is in the front of your eyes. What kind of God? What kind of God? He takes shahada. You want to talk about Islam? Your voice doesn't take shahada. Okay, so read it. It says, "Shahid Allahu anna la ilaha illallah illahu." My friend, 
You see the word Shahida? You're ignorant. You don't know Arabic. That is so, your... Okay, listen, listen. So don't discuss with me something you do not know. What do you, okay, let me let us make it simple. I want you to prove to me that Islam is sure. from from yeah. the true God. Can we do yeah. that? Mujahid. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. Absolutely. I'm, I'm listening. Okay, so what I, well, let's go ahead and establish some ground rules because I'm not going to play your games, you know, the, the, the games that you persistently play mm -hmm. where you try to try to twist and turn things mm -hmm. and you try to change the subject mm -hmm. you try to redirect you use mm -hmm. red herrings mm -hmm. you, you know it's it's constant with you you're mm -hmm. you're very simple to figure out you're really? very very <laughs> let us see how good you are let us see how good you are as long as you know how simple i am to figure out but, let us see how good you are so go straight to the top don't waste my time am, how you can prove to me that allah is the true god go ahead. i'm listening i'm listening very simple how very simple how it's, it's a declaration of faith. For one, we believe in what we cannot see. Okay, and if you are incapable of doing that, then you're incapable of, of believing in the oxygen that you breathe. You cannot see the oxygen that you breathe, but you most certainly do breathe it. Each I, and every I don't know how you smart you are. I'm asking you how to prove to me that Allah is a true God. You say to me you to believe in the unseen. Well, we are not atheists, my friend. We believe in God, and we don't see Him. This is a stupid answer. Right. I'm saying to you. Answer me how you can prove to me that Allah is a true God and Muhammad is a true prophet Don't tell me we don't believe we believe in the unseen all people who have religion. They believe in the unseen This is not the question. This is not the topic you are playing around speak straight as an adult How you prove to me that Allah is a true God? What is your proof? What is your proof that he is not because he says stupid things as an example in the Quran he says that the, the, the sperm of the women coming from the ribs Brother, if you would, if you understood the scientific, uh, my friend, this is a scientific. Uh, here we go in the front of me. In the front of me, if you would realize, my friend, it's in the front of me. Chapter 86, chapter 86, verse number seven. This is Quran. Allah, He says that women she have a sperm, it's coming from her ribs. Have you ever heard of somebody saying such a thing? Absolutely. What Absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, let me get something real quick and I'm going to read it to you. Okay. And then you have a full understanding. And this is from a doctor who's actually done research on this. Mm -hmm. And if you bear with me just one second, because I didn't anticipate going into this. No uh, problem. This, the doctor, he said that women, she have a sperm uh, coming from her ribs. Doctors, they say that. But what, what, you, what you do need to do mm -hmm. is you do need to stay on your toes with me. Because uh, this, this tactic that you're using to try to bounce around and... And uh, go to different topics. My friend, go straight uh, to the topic. Don't tell me you are, you are the one. Is, you see why? Why you need to give me fifteen minutes speech? Why you only need to give me to fifteen? Go straight to the topic. Show me the doctor who said that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs. Go ahead. I'm listening. Bear with, bear with me one second, I, and I'll, okay. I'll tell you all about it. Bear with me one second. Let me get my reading glasses because I don't read. I don't see as well as I used to. All right. Bear with me one second. Maybe you need to pray to Jesus because he make the blind see. Muhammad, he cannot make the blind see. I feel sorry for you. Jesus said of his own self, he could do nothing. He came to do the will of the one. Yeah, this is the man. This is, self, this is the man. This is the man. But the Quran says, I I make the blind see. Oh, I actually, heal the leper. Actually, the, I, I, actually, I, 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 I. So Jesus, the man, I he just, can do nothing of his own. We don't worship Jesus, the man. We worship Jesus, the Christ. He is the word of God and the word of God can heal you is not the man. We don't worship a man You are the one who follow a man and worship a man and his name is all right now No, no, it was from was from the Bible not the Quran. Yes, yes, my friend I you, you, don't, you don't quote a verse you don't quote a verse from the Bible without forgetting and forgetting the other verses Because the Bible says that Jesus said I am before Abraham. I am I am so don't 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 go there now Let's finish this about a God who believe women have a sperm coming from their breast. I want to know how this happened. How the bones of the women, the, the location of the necklace, generate sperm for the women. Let, show me the doctor. I'm, fix, I'm finding it for you. Just bear with me one second. Taking long, my friend. It's very interesting that that you uh, you like to try to talk over people on your program. And well, you are changing topic. And, uh, actually, we came in. And I am rude, my friend. I am, I am rude. Sub, we are Arab. That, Arab are problem. rude. Arab are rude. I'm like your that's, prophet. We are Arab. So now, so now, don't waste my time. Give me speeches. You are easy to figure out. You said something. It's very funny. I want you to get the proof. Who is the doctor who said to you that women she have a sperm coming from the bones of her ribs? I want to know his name.
right. I've got the book in my hand right now. Uh-huh. Give me a moment to look for uh-huh. it. I was, okay. Developing the Human. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Dr. Moore and Prasad. Dr. Moore. Edition, Dr. Page, Moore. Page, okay. Page, page, page. The human the, development. Page, page what? Page the, what? Page what? Page what? The fifth edition, page number eight. Uh, but this guy is a Muslim, right? No, this is just a medical doctor. No, he's a doctor. Is, he, no, he's a Muslim. We know his name. His name is mentioned in all Islamic books because he's a Muslim. Now, what uh, he said, read for me. Read for me. Yes, 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 yes. He is. Yes. Read for me. What he said. Let us, let us laugh. Let, let you laugh. Mm-hmm. The Quran, the embryonic development. Uh-huh. In the Holy Quran, Allah uh-huh. speaks about the stages of embryonic development. Uh-huh. We're created and we blame in the shaitan the regime. We created man from an, an extractive clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Mm. Then we made the drop into alaka, which is a leech, a leech or suspended mm. thing, a blood clot. Okay. And we Just, made alaka into okay. okay, stop, 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 stop. We no, will, we, we, stop. no, no, no. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, because you are giving me an answer about a wrong question. We will talk about that later. No. I'm talking about the sperm of the women, my friend. You are talking about after the women get a breath net. The question here is not about the women after get a breath net. About the women, there's a gushing fluid come from the men and the women. The gushing fluid come from the women ribs. Chapter 86, Abdul. Listen, you are reading for me from Al Mu'minin chapter. This is different chapter. This is different chapter, different verse, different story. It's not about this. Listen. You are you are running away from the question. You are running away from the question. Where is the answer for this verse? Where Dr. Moore he said that no, you need to show me. You need to show me. reading what I was reading. No, you are not reading. I know I saw it all. I have a book about it. I answer all those Abdul. I get them busted. I made I made them shish kebab. Go and buy my books from Amazon. It's called Quran and Science in Depth. Those guys are a joke, and nowhere he speak about the ribs thing. So now give me the answer. Where Dr. Moore, he spoke about women, she have breast Look, testicles. Do you want me to read the whole book to you? All I, I do is okay, no, it. show me, show me. I, show me where he well, spoke about have women have sperm from their ribs. Give me the page right. number. Give me the page number. Right. Hmm. So so I would suggest that you and your listeners get the, the book. No, you show it to me. No, no, no. We want you to show it to us where he said I, that I, women's I, sperm... You know, what I do and what I don't do. No, no, I, I, I tell you, no, you are challenging you because you're a liar. Because you're a liar. Where it is, show me where he said was, women they have a sperm coming from their ribs. You are a liar. Otherwise, read it for us. I, I'm listening. You the I'm, and you interrupted. I'm listening. No, you are not reading cannot, that. Okay, go go for that. Go straight. Okay, read for me right away. Which where he said the ribs of the women. Do you see the word the ribs of the women there in that page? Oh, absolutely. You already tried to get do you see, that question. Do you, you see, do you see the word drips in the whole page there? Do you see the word drips of the women? Do you see it there? You can find the book. My friend, human my friend, you are, you, are, you are just a joke. Show me where he spoke about chapter 86, verse number 7. He did not speak about it. You are lying. Be honest. Not lying. Okay, then read for me where he spoke about it. You don't dictate what I do and what I don't do. You, because this is the question, the question about chapter 86, verse number 7. Dude, what you didn't expect me to do is quickly <laughs> give you a record. Abdul, Abdul you aren't, you, aren't you reading this guy for me because you want to answer this question? Is, is, is that the purpose, right? So I'm no. asking you about chapter 86, verse number 7. In that page you are reading from, in that page you are reading from, he is not talking about the chapter 86 at all. You you didn't let me finish reading what I was okay, reading. Okay, show me where. Show me. Okay, I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Listen, listen, listen carefully. No, listen. Do you. Mm. you didn't want to get there, do you? So now let's move to another topic. Because no, no, we, we will not move. I'm, I'm not no, 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 no. You will not move. I want you to read because even what you just said is a joke. Now let us move to another topic. <laughs> so all this time we are doing what? <laughs> God is all wise and he knows everything the women have a sperm coming from her ribs proven scientifically dr. Moore fifth edition what dr. Moore there's no even such a book you idiot liar look I'm going to get you you and dr. Moore busted continue the book developing the human by dr. Moore and Prasad okay hmm. so he is not a Muslim by the way you uh-huh. are a liar uh-huh. and I suggest <laughs> that you get the book developing the human Mm. And you can read all about. No, why you don't read for us? No, you read for us. We want to laugh. 
it is comedy day what? read for us Re read for us the human development uh, show how the human is developed according to the Quran according to dr. Moore is the one you choose go ahead go ahead tell us your manners are lacking and that's why my you friend need Islam isn't, isn't it you who choose the topic isn't it you who choose the topic finish it read for me with dr. Moore read for me dr. Moore read for me dr. Moore so we can laugh because this guy is a joke and I will show you and I will get you busted in front of everybody why you want to run you are the one who opened the topic we want to finish it continue reading nervous in, in being nervous and being intimidated you have made a fool out of you you are the one is intimidated that's why you, you change the topic you are the one who opened the topic finish it here I am right here immediately so, so answer I, so don't change the topic so don't change the topic dr. Moore read for us read for us dr. Moore I want to laugh I'm listening two sentences you already interrupted me then you interrupted me again <laughs> you are you even answering four times where and dr moore he spoke about the ribs of the women giving sperm you are supposed to quote for me dr moore so he will answer about the chapter 86 uh, verse number seven what so, i was uh, going to do until you interrupted me so because of your rudeness and your lack of manners you run. read it yourself you're, you're right you yeah, okay i will read for you i'll read it for you do you want me to open dr moore for you so we can run so we can yeah, run? how about you do that how about you do that okay hold on hold on Okay, please do. <clears throat> what you're not going to do is you're not going to dictate to me what I'm going to I will, do. What I, will, I'm not I will show. Do. I will show in the in the screen what your guy he said so we can love. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Yeah. All right. It's very interesting that you, you quickly try to go to uh, what you did was you tried to go to the most complicated topic, which is science. Okay? You want to go to the most complicated topic. And why do you do that? Because you're intimidated. Because you know that the foolishness coming out of your mouth right. is, is. Let us see. Let us see the foolishness. Let us see the foolishness of the man. Let us see. This is, guys, this is, Dr. This is Dr. Moore. I want you to look with me in the screen. And read yeah, with me what Dr. Moore he said, so we can laugh together. Yeah, and and by the way, he's not a Muslim. By the way, we will see. We will see. Okay, hold on, hold on. Because if he is the Muslim, that is mean he's a liar. Because how come he find that this is coming from God, but yet he don't want to believe in that God? That's mean he's a scam. You just admitted that he is a scam. Because if somebody believe that this is the truth and this is coming from the true God, that means he is a scam. Now let us read together what he said. This guy he never spoke about what you just read for us. This is a big fat lie. Let us read what he said. It the statement of the human embryos, read with me, read me, was not proposed until 1940 and etc. And then he continued. Let's see. The Quran, chapter 23, verse number 12 to 16, indicate that there is a lag of a grab between two early stages of a growth. How does that compare with the modern science and knowledge? Recoverably uh, says Dr. Moore, read carefully what he said. It will establish that there is a lag of delay in the development of the embryo during the in, in implementation whatever the agreement between the lag of uh, or gap in development mentioned in the quran and slow rate of a change uh, uh, occurring during the second and third weeks amazing two and second and third weeks read, read carefully then he says finally dr moore conclude by saying the agreement that he has found the Quran statement may help to close the gap between the science and the religion which has existed before for uh, for so many years. How is that? Above yeah. evidence. Hold on, hold on. What you're, what you're doing is confirming the, the truth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Keep reading. Hold because on. everything you're going to read Actually, the, 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 the funny, the article is... Doesn't what? speak against the okay. Quran. It confirms the Quran. Okay, let me show you. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. He could not read nor write. My, fr yet, my friend. My friend. My friend. You know what happened about this? Doctor Moore. They invited him to Saudi Arabia a conference about Islam, and his work is to go in the stage and say a few words and get nice a check. That's all. And they gave him a translation for the chapter of a Nur that the sperm became like a leech. And they said, "Well, isn't it the 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 egg will will hang in the womb?" That's the whole story. And based on this, the guy he said, "If this is true, the Quran saying that, then the Quran agree with science." But the fact the Quran doesn't say anything of that. It's a sperm transform into 
a dead blood and dead blood became a loom and then the loom became a bones and here in the article this is an article written by Shibir Ali he did not quote everything because nothing there really is truthful but let us continue with this uh, comedian uh, Kenny Bunny let us read let us read the invention of the modern Abdul 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 shook down you just broke down you are you are you are you are you are you going to hang up are you going are you going to are you going to are you going to hang up are you going to hang up around is that what you do are you preparing yourself to hang up so don't hang up okay promise me promise me promise me listen listen don't use the word shit don't use the word shit otherwise I will shit on your prophet listen listen be a brave man and promise me you will not hang up until we finish the topic promise me I'm not gonna hang up okay I'm right here I'm gonna because I am right here in your mouth all right. and, and, and giving you everything that you and, need to have and everybody will be laughing at you now read, read, read carefully with me and read, lies okay read carefully with me this is what dr moore he said let us talk together what you're doing is confirming the quran go ahead read no problem uh -huh. right, okay so let us read start. together let us let us read together this is dr moore this dr keith law moore this is the name you right in the front of yes. you let us see what he said okay Let us see the topic. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. the, the article, they, they are not even quoting the where is the Quran? The whole article in front of me, but there's nothing. Where is the Quran? There's no Quran. Keep reading it's a it's a volume, it's a book. So that you hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I need to find time. I need to you find okay. Do you have a link? Do you have a link? Do you have a link? Stage of development. Do you have a link? Do you have a link for it? Do you have a link for, for it? Do you have a link for it? Do you I have, have a, a book in my hand. I don't need a, a, a link. Okay, the what a, okay the then read for Actually us the read. book. Read for us the book because the link in the front of me, here we go, there's nothing. I look for his name. It says so that uh, he the, found, he found, but doesn't say. He don't even quote the Quran. I'm so concerned about this. The whole article, Abdul, let me show you what Dr. Moore he said in the Quran. He spoke about the Alaqa. You Muslims are a bunch of crazy. You do not know even what he's talking about. Dr. Yes, Moore, Dr. Dr. Moore, here can you read for me the verse he read for you? Dr. Moore, read the translation for me. I'm not reading anything for you. Why? Why you will not read? Because because you will be exposed for the what? false translation. This is the word alaka. This is what your doctor Moore he did read. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you, and and, and we will laugh together. This is this is this is what doctor Moore he read for you, in chapter two verse twenty two verse number five, and specifically chapter twenty three verse number four, fourteen. Sorry, let us read together. According yes. to Dr. Moore, it is he said he, he said he said that the Quran saying there is a word it's called leech. Is that correct? Right. Alaka. Okay. All right. right. Okay. Where we can find in any Islamic translation the word leech? Show me. It's not the word leech. It's 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 a it's similar to the leech. No. It's, is it so? What it is? So what it is? So what it is? So what it is? What it is? It's a it means a suspended thing that which cleans. No, it doesn't mean the no. All mean all Muslims, literal. all Muslims, it, are all, see that's see this is what all Muslims. Let us see what Muslim translation is. Muslim translation yeah. is listen. Muslim translation says that this is a dead blood. Do you agree? It's it's a clot. A, a it's a, it's thing. a congealed. Initially, no, it's a congealed yeah. dead, dead blood. Yes or no? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So how the sperm became a congealed dead blood? You have to read the book. It says clearly that it's impossible, my friend. What read the book? He says it is alaka. He said it looked like a leech. The Quran doesn't say it looked like a leech. He did not say it's a dead blood there. The like Quran the said. The Quran <laughs> said. The Quran said it's a dead blood. Now let me ask you, who understand the Quran better, Doctor Moore or Muhammad? Let me let me tell you something. I have a book, the book mm -hmm. in my hand right now, mm -hmm. and it shows an actual picture of a leech, and right above that it shows the human embryo. But the, and the human embryo in this picture mm -hmm. is is absolutely in the similar shape as the leech. In the Quran, it is not talking about the word leech or the thing. So what the is the Quran talking about? What the Quran talking about? What is the word there is used? It, it says alaka, a clean substance. That would clean, clean substance. Okay, let us, let us see. Okay, okay. Let us see. Let us see what your prophet he said. Do you, do you, right. do you think? Do you think oh, your prophet? Do you, do, you, do you think your prophet he, he know better or you? You've asked me a question again and you've interrupted me again. Do you think? The, do you think the prophet? Do you think the prophet knows better than you? Or? Because you know you're live and I'm shaking you up 
then you want everybody to will see in a second what your prophet said are you afraid to see what your prophet said it says are, are you afraid are you afraid to see what your prophet said about this absolutely not okay what so i'm asking you friendly if we go and ask your prophet what he meant by this isn't it better than we listen to you and to me i think your well, prophet he deserves more respect right and let me if, say and say something the prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him he didn't mean anything by it what who the one who meant something by it was allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Okay, no problem, so no problem. Muhammad but your prophet, when he said that, he didn't mean anything about it. Okay. He didn't mean anything by it. He was revealing what was what was revealed to him through the angel Gabriel. May Allah be pleased with him. All right. So, the, but but your prophet, okay, listen, listen, listen. Trying to equate this book, no problem. To equate the Quran with the prophet Muhammad as having revealed the Quran himself. That is not the truth. But you, but your created, prophet, my, God, you're my friend, you my talk God, too much. God. You talk too much. You don't. You are not saying anything. I'm asking you. I'm asking you, do your prophet understand the Quran properly? This is the whole, there's no need or for this speech you are giving me. Do well, your sure, prophet, yeah. okay. So your prophet, he understand the Quran properly. So if we go right now and we see what your prophet said, are you going to say your prophet is a liar? Why would I say that? I'm asking you, are you going to say that? No, why would I say that? I'm okay. asking you, why would so I say let that? Us see, let us see what your prophet said then, and that will solve the problem. What do you think? Good? What did he say? What, and what, no, no, what I'm asking you, if, what, you if I you show you, are you going to say, because I'm, I'm, I'm predicting that you will say, I don't believe in it. I can't tell you what I'm going to say before you said what you... you okay, let us see what your prophet said. Read with me carefully. Read, read with me, read with me, read with me. Okay, okay, read with me. Are you, are you looking at the screen? Are you looking at the screen? Stop screaming, you idiot. Look, read with me. Your prophet is saying something. Respect your prophet and read. Read, your prophet said that the sperm stay in the belly of the women for 40 days. Do you agree with that? I absolutely, based on this book that I'm holding my hand by Dr. Moore. Yeah, absolutely. 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 And Dr. Moore, he said that the sperm stay in the women for 40 days. You confirm that? Yes, absolutely. You liar, big fat liar. Show me where it says that. I'm, I'm a big fat liar? Yes, show me. Which page it says oh, oh, that the oh, sperm oh, stay let, in the women for 40 days as a sperm? I want to see that. Let me answer your question. I'm listening. No, show me where, show me where Dr. Moore, your scam, said that the women's sperm, there's a woman, she have a sperm, or the man have a sperm, and the, and the sperm of the man stay in the belly of the women for 40 days. I want to see that. Look, brother, let me let me let don't tell me, brother. I'm not your brother, I'm not the brother of the devil. You are a follower of the devil. Now, answer where in the book it says that you are a liar, you are a scam. Otherwise, show me. I challenge you not to hang up, not to run, and to show me the page and to read for me, Dr. Moore in page, etc. I read for us. He said that the semen of the man stay in the womb for 40 days. I'm listening, right? Absolutely, show me. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> What do you want me to do? You want me to give you a, a whole show, uh, show me, show me. You said, you said book? absolutely. He said that. You said absolutely, Doctor Moore. He said that. Show me. I've got a book in my hand. Show me. Read, read for us. If you want to know this, did you buy the book? My you friend, don't tell me the book. My friend, Christian friends, why you don't buy the book? If you want to know, buy the book. Stupid Christian friends, it's in the front of me. It's in my hand. Read the book. Buy the book. But uh, uh, Kenny Bomber, why you don't show me? I don't care. Buy the book. It's in the front of me. My friend, my friend, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. People are listening. You see, I don't want you to convince me that I'm wrong. Convince everybody that Christian Prince is wrong. It's too many things. Okay, no problem. So now either you are got busted, you have no answer, or you read for us. Where Dr. Moore, he said that science approved that semen, semen of a man stay in the womb of the mother for 40 days. Right, it's absolutely in the book. Where? And if you buy the, you buy the book. No, read for us. Don't tell me if you buy the book. Okay. You have the book in your hand, my friend. You have the book in your friend. Just read it. Read, read for us. Show us where it says that. If, if you find the book, show us where it says book. that. You are a liar, aren't you? No, I am. Then okay, show us. Brother. Tell us in page. You are recording. I will make you famous in YouTube. You are already famous. People are recording you. Tell us which page. Uh, Tell us, tell, do, tell us, I'm not going to flip. You this are a liar, right? you are a liar, and you admit otherwise. Show us which page, which page in Dr. Moore he said that women 
they have received the sperm of the man and it stayed there inside them in the womb for 40 days. You have the access to the internet right there at your fingertips. I don't you I don't see I cannot find anything in that book. I cannot find it. I, you, you said you have it. You said you have it. I don't have it. You said you don't book. Show me. A hard copy of the book you are in my a, hand. Then read you, it. You, are you, then read it. Gonna be like Abdul, what's wrong with you, book? guys? Do you, you see, guys, do you see why I say every every Abdul is a liar? He had the book in the front of him. He said he confirmed, absolutely, I believe in that. Absolutely, the prophet saying the truth, that the spreemen stay in the womb of the women for 40 days. And he said it's in this book. Okay, show us which page. Read for us. I'm not going to flip through this book and find Show it. us. Once you have to flip because you're a liar. So how you know it is there if you do not know how to find it, you liar? I've already read is this it, book. Is it there? Is, there? is it, I've already read is it there? Is it I'm there? Is it there? You give is you a it, class. Is it there? You want, so you, you have no answer. You are here supposed to get me busted. Why you don't want to get me busted? According to science, you idiot. Listen, not, listen, listen, listen. I, I will put you in mute for a minute because you scream, you say nothing. According to science, semen cannot live more than seven days, maximum. You, the prophet, is a big fat liar when he said semen stay alive for 40 days. What do you say about that? What do you say what? about that? Do semen what? live more than seven days? Answer your question. If you if you hold your comments for a moment, hmm. I'll answer your question. Okay, what is the answer? The semen cannot live more okay, than Okay, I'm going than... to I'm going to make something. I'm listening. Give me the answer. Okay, please listen. Just okay. just stop and be quiet for I, 30 seconds. I'm listening. Go ahead. If you go seconds, ahead, dude. You... Tell me the answer. Don't give me a speech. Give me the answer. Right. right. You just said that semen can't live for, for more than seven days. Mm -hmm. But brother, each and every person on this earth, uh -huh. uh, I, I'll be 47 years old mm -hmm. in just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I used to be sperm myself. You used to be sperm. Don't tell me that sperm can't live in the womb of a woman more than seven days. <laughs> it develops and it grows and it, it, it grows. The sperm grows. The sperm grows. The sperm. Well, we grows. All, it, the sperm. The the sperm. Uh, the sperm. <laughs> Yeah. Kenny Boomer, he is a sperm still. He is a still a sperm. <laughs> he's a still a sperm and then now he's a growing. <laughs> he is a sperm and he's a growing. <laughs> it's good to be sperm, my friend. That's nice. Yes, my friend. I am a human being. He is a, he's a, I was a sperm myself and I'm a growing now. I don't believe really, I don't believe what this guy is saying. What a comedian! Okay, my friend, the sperm will grow. The sperm will grow. It's sperm is born or grow depending on the genes. What do you mean sperm will grow? If your prophet saying the sperm stay as a sperm for forty days, the sperm right. grow and, and live forty and it days. Develops to another another. Uh, it begins to develop. No, it says it stays as a sperm for forty days, and then after that, it became. For right. a similar period, a piece of a fish, and then you were you were once an embryo. You were once that sperm, and now you're a friend. Man. Your prophet Think words. Just, your prophet word is so clear. Your prophet words is so clear. He right. said the sperm stay gathered, gathered. Listen carefully. Let me read for you what the prophet said. This is your Muslim translation, and this is just a search from Google. It says the sperm inside the women can live up to five days. Do you see uh, it? Do you see it? Your prophet said the sperm of the women gathered, gathered in the womb of the women for 40 days. How such a thing, thing is, can happen? One thing is for certain is that the Quran has revealed these things for over 1400 years ago. Which is a stupid. And each one, each and every one of the Which is a stupid. miracles Which is a stupid. have been confirmed. Confirmed uh, by who? Confirm, confirm. That's a, that's a lie. I, I just I just got you busted. I just got you busted. Don't tell me it's confirmed. It's I got you busted right now. Confirmed by who? I just no, got you busted. I confirm to you by science that this is a lie. This is science. This is a website of science. It says sperm live for five days. Your prophet said sperm gathered inside the women for forty days. Answer right. Before it transfers into another stage of development, it is then Probably still, still, it is there for 40 really days. Tough. Listen, listen. First of all, a sperm does not transform to anything. Only stupid believe in that, my friend. My friend, sperm, sperm does not transform. 
listen, listen. What is, women? Women. what is the egg of the women? What is the egg of the women? What is the egg of the women? Your prophet, your prophet, he mentioned the sperm. The sperm will turn into a flesh and he will be, the, the sperm will be 40 days as a sperm. What is the egg? Right. So if you want me to answer you, what is the women? What is the women egg? You have to give me time to do it. I'm asking you. I give you time. I know to you're nervous. <laughs> That's a good one. Who's the nervous here? Abdul, listen, listen. I am so nervous. Seriously, I, I am. I am really, really, really so nervous. Now answer. Okay. Can you show me? Can you show me one one Islamic book, including Doctor Moore, saying that the sperm stay inside the women for forty days? Can you show me that, please? I'm very nervous. She's one your voice She's your, the one that found your, this your voice is it's, cutting. He's the one that developed this whole, no, the it, whole it, issue. No, it's not about develop here. It says, it says, read, read carefully, read carefully, Abdul. Do you know how to read English? Do you know how to read? You see, you do not know how to read Arabic. I understand. But do you, do you know how to read English? It says, is gathered in the form of semen. So what is the form? Semen. In the womb of your mother for 40 days. Do you see it? Well, here is that Dr. Moore is the first doctor. The Can first you read doctor, for me what? Do, do, stop saying Dr. Moore. Things. Stop saying Dr. Moore I'm, unless I'm, you read for me what Dr. Moore said about how many days sperm stay inside the women. Otherwise, shut up. After the development, after the development, there is no development yet. This is the first stage. This is the first stage. Sperm stay as a sperm for forty days. I said, this is the first stage. After the development. What development? Abdul, 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 potato, potato, liar, coward. Oh, don't hang up on me. I'm nervous now. I'm shaking. Answer. It says, it says, it's gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. Can you show me one scientist in the world believe in such a garbage? Yes, Who? Dr. Moore, I've already show me. Then thing. show me. Stop saying Dr. Moore. Read for us. Read for us, understand. liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Show me you where Dr. Moore. Understand. Show I'm me. Gonna... Show I'm... me. Okay, let me just read I'm... for me. I'm... I'm not... Where? Which page? Dr. Moore said the I'm sperm not... stay inside the winner for forty days. Show me. You know what? Sperm stayed inside the woman and began to develop from day one. From this is not what the verse one. saying. This when is not. First of all, Abdul. First of all, Abdul. Abdul. Stupid. Stupid. No, I don't understand what you are saying because the sperm does not start to develop. You idiot. It is the egg. It is the egg. It is the egg. It is the egg you donkey. You donkey. 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 Listen. It is the egg who starts developing. It. It's not the sperm. The sperm. The sperm does not develop. The sperm. The sperm activate the egg and deliver the DNA and die. Demolish. There's nothing next. Nothing next. Nothing next. The one who develops is the egg. Your prophet. Forget about the egg. So now, Abdul, son of Muta. Listen, I don't have time for kids. Either. You agree that you are a coward and Dr. Moore never said anything, even though he is a liar like you, or you read for us. Is that fair, guys? So I'm going to give you the mic. Be a man. Open the Quran. Tell us which page. Read for us. That Dr. Moore said that the sperm of the women stay inside her, gathered inside the women, inside the women for 40 days. Show me. Or I will help you more. Show me where Dr. Moore he said that the sperm development because you like to use this word take 40 days. Show me the mic is yours. I'm listening. Able to get this. Listen, show me. Okay, I'm listening. If you get the book, the development. Don't tell me if you get the book. Are you a donkey or what? Are you a donkey? Don't stop telling me if you get the book. Show me. I do not have the book. And you are a liar. Open the book. You book in your front of your hand. You were flipping the pages a second ago. Read for us which page it says that the sperm stay inside the women and took it 40 days to develop as you said. I will go with you. You said develop, even the hadith doesn't say that. I will go with you. Show me where it says that. I'm listening. So show you where it says what? The, the sperm took it 40 days to develop. Show me where it says that in Dr. Moore book. Brother, you're going to have to understand. The don't call me, brother. And the, I don't understand. No, don't waste my time. Let me mute you. Let me mute you. You are just a kid. Admit it. You are in the corner and you get busted. 
if you don't show us people are do you see that the, do you see the chat the chat is boiling people are laughing to dying from laughing so you better show us Never where did. you better show us show where me. can you show us where it says that or you cannot be honest yes i can okay, in the, show us. the book the developed okay by show, Dr. Moore. show us show us I'm, 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 I'm listening show us which page and read for us I'm, I, going, I'm going to I, shut I'm up not gonna, i'm not looking it up for you i'm not giving you the page i'm giving you the book you have to study really? the whole book and really? read the whole book. Okay. Understand it. Guys, I'm not going to give you the For page. Me, I will give you the book. Because there is no such a thing. You're a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Just admit you are a liar like a, liar. a prophet. Listen, listen. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He is, his specialty is lying. He's a stupid. Don't be stupid like him because he said many stupid things. As an example, I just showed you what he said that women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Did that Dr. Moore, does Dr. Moore say that women have a sperm? Have you ever heard of any donkey in the world agree that women have a sperm? Since when women have a sperm? You're, you're acting like an elementary since, school Since child. when women have a sperm? Answer. Since when women have a sperm? Women don't have sperm. They have a so, why you, so why your Quran says though? Brother, you need you, you, you don't call you me brother an answer. The Quran, this is the Quran in front of your eyes, it's chapter 86, it. verse number seven. It is gushing fluid coming from the man and the women, and that will cause the baby. Do you agree? Right, there's no fluid within the woman, of course, there's fluid, in the and woman. that will make you the baby, and that will make the, the baby, egg. and that yes, will make the, fluid okay, and that's you fluid, and that the fluid that, according to the Quran. Thank you very much, you, guys. You guys, you guys hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This guy, he just admitted that it's a fluid coming from the women will make the baby. Now, the Quran says in that chapter that that fluid is coming from the ribs of the women. Do you really believe in that? PhD, Listen, not an authority on this subject. Abdul, do you, you believe? Do you believe? Show me on one on person here have a PhD. Abdul, show me where you more. Here we go. Dr. Yeah. Moore again. But donkey. Listen, I have many mules around me, and you are just a small donkey. Mules, they don't dare even to get a close. Show me where Dr. Moore, he said, that women have, have a sexual fluid, it's coming from their bones, and the bones of their ribs specifically. The mic is yours. Can you read for us? I, I didn't hear anything you said because I wasn't can listening. You, you can you, you, can you read for us? Can you read for us? Can you read for us? Anywhere in Dr. Moore's book, it says that women have a sexual fluid coming from the ribs of the women. Look. Can let you me, show us? Let me ask you a question. Don't ask Do you me. Not ask, like, answer the question. The woman? Can you find me anyone in the world believe not. that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs? Yes or no? If that's what the book says, which it does, yes, I believe that. Absolutely. But you said to me, you want to prove it to me from Dr. Moore's book. This is the whole point. Where if Dr. Moore, he said right. that women have a sperm well, coming I'm from not, their ribs. I'm not going to. You, you realize that it would take me time to look through this book and find that subject. Okay. I will uh, give you. So I will give I, you. Listen. Not, I will give you ten years. Is that is that a good I'm deal? I will give you ten years. Is that a good deal? I don't need ten years. What I, what I need you to do is no. Take you, some you, money no. I will give you twenty you years. You are a liar. Otherwise, why you don't need ten years? You need it because you are. You, maybe by then you will die, and then you escape from this challenge. Otherwise, anyway, we need to advise everybody that it's very dangerous to marry women especially if they are Islamic, because look like Islamic women are different. They have a breast testicles. And by the way, this is scientifically proven by NASA. NASA, when they went to the moon, and they went to you know, Mercury in their, in their way back to, the, to Mars, they found big breasts flying in the space. They were amazed, what is that? In the beginning, they thought it's a breast, but later they noticed that this is a breast testicles. And this is the origin of a breast testicles of all women in the world. And this is why I advise you, if you are not married yet, not to get married. What if you get married and you find one of those women who take off her clothes and then bingo, instead of having boobs, you have a breast testicles. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you get screwed. I mean, and you are like supposedly, supposedly today is going to get married and the wife of a woman, you like her. She will go to you, would you to bed and take off her clothes and like you know we will be in, uh, play, we will make some babies now, right? And then you notice that she have a sperm and her sperm coming from her ribs and the location of the necklace specifically. That's why I believe strongly that women are really dangerous, very dangerous. And look how they lie, Doctor Moore, Doctor Moore. This guy they invited him for a small conference in Saudi Arabia, 
and they asked him to come in the stage and he made in they gave him a verse from the Quran saying that that uh, uh, the sperm goes they did not give him correct translation go and read it the article is made by Muslims they give him false translation and the guy he said based on what I have in front of me this is very not far away from the science that's all but they gave him wrong false translation about the verse where it says that the the sperm uh, 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 did not give him a sperm. Let me see. Actually, let me let me find it. I will find you the article, Doctor Moore, because most times they keep talking about this Doctor Moore. One time, the guy he went to Saudi Arabia. They asked him to go in the stage and make a statement. And since time, since then, they use him for the propaganda. Uh, And I will show you right away how they play with the uh, uh, in the article or on what he said. Doctor Moore, is this an article by Shivir Ali? Okay. Yeah, so look what uh, what they give. Uh... Here we go. They gave uh, uh, Doctor Moore, this guy, when he was in Saudi Arabia, three, uh, 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 two or three verses in the Quran that he makes you in the womb of your mother in three stages. One after one, but Muhammad, we showed you in the hadith, he said what the stage is. You are for 40 days as a sperm, and then for 40 days as a loom, and then for 40 days as a bones, you know. So they lie to him in this for this. They show him this, but did not show him what, his, what, the, what their prophet said. And then there, they go down. Uh, we placed him as a drop in a place of rest but they don't tell him that this is drop is a drop of a sperm okay here read really carefully actually the statement uh, of uh, uh, from sura chapter 23 verse number 13 the drop is or nutfa has been interpreted as sperm all right but more uh, meaningful interpretation would be zygote which is divided forms of whatever so you look how they try to change and instead of it is a sperm now they make it something else and this is for sure this is a lie so the quran never mentioned any of those the quran says a drop of a sperm and is going to be there for 40 days as muhammad he said now we continue and we made the drop into a leech like a structure it doesn't say like it doesn't say structure it doesn't say leech it says alaqa. we made into alaqa, not like we made it into so according to the Quran, the sperm transform to be a congealed blood. And if you read any translation or all the Muslim website, you will not find one of them says leech, simply because it is not. And look what they add, like structures to fabricate. Where is the like structures? Then here he says, the word alaqa. And by the way, this is all the Muslim statement. This is not Dr. Moore, this is a fabrication. Uh, referred to leech or blood sucker. This is an appreciated description for a human embryo from the day 7 to 24. So human embryo from day 7 to 24. But remember, Muhammad, he says, all your creation will finish in 120 days. Uh, and then when it cling in the in the, in the autress, the same way, okay, blah, blah, blah. But this is not, you see, you see here look how they lie we made the drop of a sperm into a leech where is the explanation for the drop do scientists believe that the drop of a sperm would transform to be an embryo you see here the fabrication it's a drop what is the drop what is that a drop here this is a drop of a sperm okay so even here they are saying what it is. Nutfa is a alaqa, a drop of nutfa. What nutfa in Arabic is a sperm. 
so in order to fabricate and to make it something scientifically correct they change the meaning the ad words is not there and then here we go so and they start giving you stages like stage from day number one to day number two but look if we go in the hadith we will find different something different let us go to the hadith <coughs> And then we will love. Read with me. What is the stages they are talking about in this article? Your, uh, what they said before? Uh, they got? They got? <laughs> okay. The prophet said in... Uh, uh, so... Allah appoint the angel and says, "O oh, drop of a sperm, O oh, Lord the clot, O oh, Lord the loom, O oh, Lord the flesh." There's no egg. There's no fertilization for the for the egg of the woman. Read with me here carefully. When the drop of semen remains in the womb for forty or fifty days, or for or or forty days, the angels come and say, "O oh, my Lord, good or evil." So this is the stage in Islam. In Islam. Read more. Allah the exalted, the glorious, He appointed an angel. Uh, the uh, character of the womb and he would say my lord it is now a drop of semen my lord now it's a clot of a blood do you see it now it is what it's a drop of semen and all of us we knew that only one semen will do fertilize the egg what a drop of semen now it's a drop of semen now it's a clot of a blood and there's no stage in the embryo that you will be blood Clot of a blood, that's mean dead blood. So drop of semen and the, uh, se the drop of semen will transform it to blood. This is what scientists do. So they fabricate stories about a guy, the guy he went there for, for, for five minutes in the stage. They, they use his name all over. The same as they lie, uh, they lie about George, George Bernard Shaw. The guy, he never spoke something good about Muhammad. Actually, he spoke bad about Muhammad. But the Muslim, they fabricate that he said, in one of his books and nobody can find that book that if Muhammad was exist right now he can solve the problem of the words in five minutes while he's driving his coffee in the morning but where we can find Jordan Bar Bernard show saying that it's a lie as usual <coughs> if we search right now <coughs> sorry uh, what George Bernard show Say about Muhammad. Here we go. This is an article, and the Muslim they lined up of his stories, tons of it is fabricated. Let us see. Uh Mahmata Gandhi. That, uh, but let us me let us go to John Bernard Show. Uh, where is George Bernard Shaw? Here we go. George Bernard Shaw, he said, The genuine Islam, I want you, I challenge any Muslim to find me a book, it's called The Genuine Islam. There is a book, it's called Genuine Islam, right? There is. But look what the book is saying. Nothing good there. I believe if a man like him were assume the dictatorship of modern world, the world sec uh, succeed in solving its problem in a way that would bring much needed peace and happiness. I have studied him, the man and I, my opinion, from being an antichrist, he must be called, the savior of a humanity. I have prophesied about the faith of Muhammad that it would be acceptable in Europe of tomorrow as of being acceptable in the Europe today. Now, do we have a book I, I could not find the statement where he says uh, uh, in the article uh, that he will solve the problems of the words 
in uh, in five days or sorry in five minutes uh, the genuine Islam where we can find this book anybody can find me the book the genuine Islam Where is the genuine Islam? Any Muslim can find me the book. It's called the genuine Islam, please. Or this is just a fiction story. The Muslims they made. Actually, I made a video about it before. Let us see about George Bernard Shaw. And there I was quoting the Sheikh. <clears throat> so anyway, what the Muslims they do, they add fabricated stories. Nobody can find it. Nobody even can find the book. Nobody heard of the books. And they say that this guy George Bernard Shaw or this guy or Mahmata Gandhi said and she said and even one day they will say Christian Prince he said that too famous name his name is uh, George Bernard Shaw George Bernard Shaw Muslims they use the Muslim they use anyone and in the names of anyone is famous and he is dead even sometimes even that the one is not dead they fabricate lies about them but especially when they die as an example, there's a guy, his name, uh, Captain, Co uh, uh, I forget his name, he's, he's a French, Cousteau, I think Cousteau. Uh, he used to dive in the ocean and he used to watch his programs when I was a kid. And then the guy, he died, and then they said he converted to Islam after he died. But this guy, he never converted to Islam. He had nothing to do with Islam and uh, fabrication, just to fool people and make them believe that Look, there is people are converting to Islam scientists. And the story of George Bernard Shaw is no different. Let me show you what the Muslims say, and they claim that George Bernard Shaw, he said about Islam. I have always held the religion of Muhammad in high estimation because of its wonderful vitality. It is the only religion which appears to me to possess that assimilating capacity to the changing phase of existence, which can make itself appeal to every age. I have studied him, the wonderful man, and in my opinion, far from being an antichrist, he must be called the savior of humanity. I believe that if a man like him were to assume the dictatorship of the modern world, he would succeed in solving its problems in a way that would bring it the much needed peace and happiness. I have prophesied about the faith of Muhammad that it would be acceptable to the Europe of tomorrow as it is beginning to be acceptable to the Europe of today. And the quotation is from a, from the book, it's called The Genuine Islam, very number one, page number eight. Sir George Bernard Shaw in the Genuine Islam, volume one, number eight, 1936. But there's no such a book. There's no such a book. You see, they not only they have no shame. There's no such a book. It's called the genuine Islam. Made by Bernard Shaw. Ever exist. Those people they have no shame. They have no shame whatsoever. They fabricate a name for the book. They fabricate a date, they fabricate a page, value number one, page number eight, year 1936. <laughs> this is how those people they have. Okay, you know, we are here live on air. Who is a Muslim would like to show me the book of George Bernard Show saying what we heard on the screen? Who is the Muslim want to show us the book of George Bernard Show? the genuine Islam and show us the pages where it's quoting from 
یعنی مسلم سو دی میک فالس کوٹیشن اباؤٹ پیپل دے سی ایکچولی جارج برناچو دیر از ا دیر از ا برادر ہز نیم از ا برادر رشید ہی میڈ ا ویڈیو ان ہز ٹی وی اسٹیشن اباؤٹ وات ری جارج برناچو سیڈ اباؤٹ محمد ات واز ایول ہی سیڈ تھنگز وچ از محمد از ان ایول پرسن ہی ڈن نوٹ سی سم تھنگ گڈ اباؤٹ محمد سو سو دے فیبریکیٹ ا بک دے فیبریکیٹ ا ٹائٹل دے فیبریکیٹ ا ویلیوم دے فیبریکیٹ ا پیج نمبر And yet we cannot find anything. And Muhammad can solve the problem of the words in five minutes, my friend. Muhammad, he could not solve the problem in his household. When his wives, they have fight with him. Muhammad, he said that Allah is going to take his side. And Jibreel and the angels. Read and laugh with me. This is the guy who want to solve the problem of the world. Chapter 66, verse number 4. Allah sent the chapter to defend Muhammad against his five-foot-tall wife. This is how dangerous women are. Be careful. If you too repent to God, yet your heart certainly is unclean. But if you support one another against him, against who him? Muhammad. Look what will happen. Allah it doesn't say God it says Allah translator here is a stupid let me change I don't like stupid translation I mean why you are translating the word Allah as God Allah is a name you can't translate it since when you can translate a name you donkey all right so if you both turn into Allah and repentant Okay, oh, uh, for your heart desired the ban. I mean, what's wrong with those translation? I mean, donkey after donkey. What ban you donkey? What does that mean? Um, ban. I think those people they are using Google translation or something. Ban. If you turn in repentance to him, your heart are indeed inclined. But if you back up each other against him truly Allah is his a protector so now Muhammad have a wife two wife fighting with them and now Muhammad is getting the help from who look how Muhammad he can solve the problem of the world Allah will take the side of Muhammad against his two wives who they are five foot tall two Arabian women who is supporter of Muhammad against you Allah is his a protector of 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 protector when the i mean muhammad is in danger two women they are going to scratch him with their nails and not only that and jibreel and not only that every righteous believer pakistan mullah mullah the taliban uh, the caliphate the baghdadi uh, 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 Osama bin Laden, all the terrorists in the world Boko haram all they will take the side of muhammad to protect him from his two wives among the believers and furthermore the angels all of this involved in a fight between a man and his two wives do you see how muhammad can solve the problems of the world imagine we have dr zakir naik have a two hour fight with his wives and allah he sent the chapter for the quran for him he says to him i tell you allah he told me that if your heart don't repent to Allah and you are going to against me, I'm warning you, Allah is going to be protector to me. And Jibreel is going to protect me. And all the believers, one billion believers are going to protect me. And furthermore, all the angels in the world, they are going to protect me. All of this to fight with two women. The guy who can solve the problems of the world, he need Allah and Jibreel and every righteous believer. And furthermore, the angels against two women, they are five foot tall. Do you see how powerful, how strong he is in the character inside his house? Hell.
help, help, Allah, Allah, help me, Jibreel. The two wives, two wives against me. What the heck? And George Bernard Shaw, he said that the prophet, he can solve the problem of the whole earth in five minutes in the morning while he's drinking his coffee. And you must repeat the lie and nobody will investigate and see if it's true or not. The same as the story of Dr. Moore. Dr. Moore, Dr. Sharkabur, Dr. etc. Here we go. We have all the doctors. Your prophet, he is getting them all busted. So who is a Muslim when I call us? Until now we have zero Muslims. Anyone? Ghani Abdul, Dr. Moore. Do you miss uh, do you miss this guy Kenny Bomber? Why show it to me right now? You are the one who read the whole book. You are the one who read the whole book. Did you read the whole book or only the cover? Did you read the whole book? I read the whole book. The okay. name of the book so is The Developing Human the, by Dr. Great, great. So where where Dr. Moore he can explain to us how the Quran say women have a sperm coming from their ribs. According to science, women have Wait, no sperm. You want me to tell you where? You, you want me to tell you where? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I will tell you where it's in the book, The Developing Human. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, you know, they, they say in China, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Do you want me to tell you where? Do you want me to tell you where? Do you want me to tell right. you where? It's in the book, the <laughs> one the Do you want me to tell you where? Do you want me? To... Right. Are you okay? You... How old are you? How old are you? How, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? For, for, for the sake of Allah, leg. you know, uh, okay. all your listeners, how, how, how old are you? For the sake of Allah, leg. So, Abdul, Abdul, huh? uh, just to be honest, I want you. To, I want. I want to be sure that what? you are hey, not. Call me Abdul. Listen, My name is Mujahid Al Islam. You are Abdul. You are Abdul. Abdul. You are a potato, and you are not a mujahid. You are a potato. If you are a mujahid, you will I'm go into jihad. I'm, I'm a mujahid. I'm right here doing what I do. Where, right where, now. where, 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 where? You are doing what? You cannot even read the page for us. Now. You don't even dare to read the page for us. Having in the calls You are Abdul. You are Abdul, and your prophet is our joke. We are making fun of him. He is a donkey. He is a liar, and you don't dare to answer. If you are a mujahid, then give me the answer. This is the interpretation of Ajalalain in front of your eyes. It says that there is a sperm of the women coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Answer. How kind of a stupid prophet he says such a thing? The mic is yours. You, okay, you want me to give you the page? It's one of the pages within the book, The Developing Human by Dr. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those pages. My I'm friend, not gonna... Okay, let me, let me tell you something. Do you want me to give you a page? I have a book, all of it, exposing Dr. Moore and making him look like a joke because he's a joke. Look it up. I did, I did. It, there's nowhere in the book, his book, it says that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and you are a liar. Otherwise, do you have his okay, book? Okay, listen, listen. What about what about? You don't even have the book. You was trying to look up information on on the internet. You, I, you cannot find it. I could not, I could not, I could not find it. Listen, listen. I could not find it, Abdul. You are a liar. Show it to me. Why you don't you show it to me? You read the book, but you're you're calling me a liar. No, and I have I, read the book. No, listen, let me tell you what I read. Let me tell you what I read. I read the website. It's called Quran Miracles, and I refuted them. I they knew are the, I would shake they, you. they are the one who is quoting Doctor Moore, and they are donkey like you. Now you cannot answer why the Quran says women have a sperm coming from her ribs. Now are you calling names like a child? I'm not calling names. Because your prophet he said you are a donkey. Let, let me show you that your prophet said now, every Muslim is a donkey. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on. I'm not calling names. You're a prophet. Yep. You're a I'm prophet. A said. Liar. You're a prophet. Said. Okay, hold on. Anyway, uh, I have a headache from this guy. Any Muslim want to call us? This guy is a joke. What is the answer? It's in a Dr. Moore book. What is the answer in Dr. Moore book? Okay, read for us in Dr. Moore book. <laughs> Dr. Moore. <laughs> I mean, this guy, this idiot, Dr. Moore, he went to Saudi Arabia to, to a conference. And they told him, go in the stage and say some nice stuff about the Quran because that the Muslims, they like it. You know, he went there, nice, uh, uh, big check uh, for everybody who come in the conference, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he told them what they like to hear. But nothing really there is truthful and based on the Quran. What, Dr. Moore? Who in the world want to believe such a garbage as we see in front of us? 
and the funny according to the to Muhammad the last stage is to be to decide male or female <laughs> do you see it the last stage in the embryo that you are a female or male the last stage but according to science hmm, that's not really the case the last stage so at the end you will have a penis or a vagina the last stage why how that can be how that can be like what when when the embryo is finished the angel he will ask Allah what do you want him to make male or female and then he will put a carrot between his leg if he's a boy and if it's a female he will get a scissor and he will make a he will make a cut the last stage male or female who is the donkey when I believe in such a garbage dr. Moore so they use names to, just to deceive you they fabricate articles about people they say this but they never said any of that the guy he was in a conference in Saudi Arabia he spoke in the stage for five minutes and that's it and they gave him a false translation based on the translation they gave him he sp spoke but he never said of what what they are saying here dr. Moore the last stage of the embryo in his time is male or female according to science, to science from the first second the fertilizing happened it is already decided is going to be male or a female because either the male sperm or is going to be female it is the sperm actually decide which means the second the the sperm enter into the egg it's already known what is going to be it's a stupid to say that this is last stage male or female you can go right now and search dr. Google anyone Uh, somebody saying that this is, does not make Islam false anyway. How is that? If your God, my friend, Mr. 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 Muhammad Ashqar, I am too distracted too to get the bottom of this, and I and I required work, but that does not make Islam false anyway. How in the world that this will not make Islam false anyway? If your God is God. He should not say something stupid and not a truth for my friend. So when you say that will not prove Islam to be false, that is a statement of ignorance. He is God, but yet he do not know how he created the baby. How that can be? Mr. Muhammad. Your God is God, but yet he do not know how the baby is made. And that will not prove Islam to be false. <laughs> you know, not only this will prove Islam to be false that will prove that your God does not exist because the one who made the baby is the last one to make a mistake how the baby is made supposedly he is the maker and he is explained how he made the baby so what do you mean this will not prove Islam to be false He is the one who created the baby, but yet you do not know how the baby is made. Are you there, Mr. Muhammad? This is does not approve Islam to be false, according to Muhammad. Okay, so he is the creator, but you do not know. That the first thing the baby in the baby embryo that is going to be to be male or female right away when the sperm enter that is sperm either a sperm of a male or a sperm of a female which means the sperm decide what the baby will be so to say at the last stage is to uh, the angel will ask Allah is it male or female that is stupid statement right 
we understand the word in term and DNA. No, we don't. No, don't talk about DNA. Your prophet, he never have anything to do with the DNA. As you see, your prophet, he think that the womb, uh, the, the drop of the semen stay in the womb for 50 days. <laughs> He think the baby is the is a sperm transforming and he think that the women have a liquid and that liquid is going to make the baby too and that liquid is a gushing fluid liquid coming from her ribs do you like to call me mr muhammad you guys you claim to believe in god but you don't believe in angels we are the one who believe in angel you don't believe in angel you are the one who have no angels. Where is the angel is now? You don't even know what the word angel mean. If I ask you, where is the word malaika coming from? You do not know because this is the word you stole from different different religion. If we ask you, what is the Holy Spirit? You do not know. You are confused and you say this is Jibreel. But nowhere in the Quran it says Jibreel is a Holy Spirit. Why? Because you stole that name from the Bible. No, angels are not everywhere. This is a lie. Your prophet, he said, that angels do not enter a house, have pictures or dogs. Angels in Islam are simply, cannot be true angels. Because what kind of angels, they cannot enter a house because there is a picture or a dog. Do you see it? So right now, if the angel of death, when I come to my house, he cannot enter because I have an image, I have a picture, I have a TV is running, I have a picture in the wall, you know, for a beautiful lake, uh, and uh, there's ducks are swimming, and uh, uh, so uh, the angels are not going to come here. Because angels cannot enter a house, have pictures. What kind of angels would not enter a house, have a dog or a picture? Oh, they go where good things happen. Look how funny the answer is. That the angels, they go where good things happen. Mm -hmm. So the prophet, he have a dog, and now his dog is not good place no more because he have a dog there. According to the hadith, the prophet stopped receiving revelation. And later he found a dead dog under his bed. <clears throat> Is that correct? Huh? Your prophet house is not a good place no more. And the angels will not enter his house because there is a dead dog under the bed of Muhammad. I'm not going to ask you, how come nobody smelled the filthy dog dead under the bed of Muhammad for many days? Unless Muhammad, he smell more bad than the dog himself. If a rat, he die in your house, he will make your house stink. A rat, little rat. Imagine if a dog, he die. Imagine what will happen to your house. Let us find the hadith. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Let us show you the first one. Aisha reported that Jibreel, peace be upon him, made a promise with Allah Messenger to come at definite hour. Hey, Muhammad, we will be there at 3 o'clock. Okay, wait for me. The hour came. Look how organized the angel. But he did not visit him. And there was his hand in the hand of Allah Apostle. What? A staff. He threw it from his hand and said never has allah or his messenger the angel ever broken their promise oh boy the angel he broke his promise what happened must be something very very important jibreel he have a date with the prophet but he's not coming then he cast a, 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 a glance 
found and found the puppy under his coat and said Aisha Aisha Habibi Habibi Aisha when did this dog enter here huh when this dog enter here she said by Allah I don't know then he commanded it was turned out and then Jibreel came to Allah messenger and said to him you promised me and I waited for you but you did not come whereupon he said it was the dog it was the dog in your house you idiot I could not enter your house because of the dog the dog in your house prevented me from the country. It's okay, Jibri. It's okay. It's okay. Take it. Take it. I have a phobia from dogs. I'm scared. Jibri, it's okay. He's a little one. He's a very small. He's a tiny. He's a tiny dog. He's not even a big dog. It's like a jaro. It's a puppy. It's a puppy. It's okay. Please, next time, don't do that because we angels cannot enter the house. There is dogs in it. I told you. What the heck? Who in the world want to believe in this, such a garbage? What is the weakness of the angel here? So now if I have an army of angels are coming from my side, I bring with me little puppy. And that's it. I can stop the angels from getting close to me. And I win the war. A little puppy who in the world want to believe in such a garbage hmm? anyone well to be honest with you you know, puppy are very scary. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of the angel Jibreel, and you find this scary puppy in the front of you. What you will do? It will be crying, screaming, asking for help from four direction. Allah will come to help you, rescue. I mean, you will have a phobia. Will go crazy. You will leave. You will lose your mind. It's not easy. It's not easy to see such a thing. Look at this scary creature. That's I don't blame the angel not coming inside the house. This is very dangerous. So what we learn from Muhammad's story here that angels they have a weakness spot. It's puppies. With little puppy, you see, we can fight. By the way, by the way, not only that. Do you know that the angels of Allah they hate garlic? It looked like Islam is run running by Dracula. Fiction stories. Garlic. What's wrong with the garlic? Muhammad he forbid the angel the, the the Muslims to come to the mosque with the garlic you see those are you should not read with me carefully I'm not making things up because the angels they can they get hurt the angels they get hurt by those vegetables read carefully with me the messenger of Allah he said who he who eats of this offensive plant offensive what the heck offensive of, of, of offensive what offensive plant offensive to who for the angels actually it doesn't say even offensive it says it hurt minha. okay He who eat those plants, which is the enemy of the angels, 
I e garlic and blah 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 onion blah 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 for this is heard the angels as you see do you see it obviously this is true my friend Islam is growing where Islam is growing Islam is dead what is Islam in in Saudi Arabia there's no stem left if we ask now how many countries they are practicing Sharia law, you will find nobody. The only true Muslims are Taliban, the rest are not. Muslim. Don't, don't tell me Islam is growing, Islam is dead. And we are Arab, and look what's happening Morocco, Algeria, you name it. People are leaving Islam by waves. Just wait. Get ready. People now are getting more educated and they see how stupid this is, is and they are leaving Islam. There's nobody, there's no way somebody he went to school and he read this stupid thing, a man he claimed to be a prophet of God saying, and yet he will stay as a Muslim. And you know it. So what is a Shia? A Shia is more is, 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 the, is the last one to claim to be Muslims. You are a Shia, okay. I I want to convert to Islam, I want to do muta. Do you have do you know a girl from your family? She will sleep with me for five dollars, my friend. Here we go. You want to be a Muslim, right? Let us see how Muslim you are. In a second, you will start calling me, insulting me, and you will say to me, I will kill you if you say that again. I thought you are a Muslim and Islam is growing. So is it okay to do to do to do a muta, my friend, Mr. Shia? Are you willing to rent your sister for somebody here? This is Islam. Islam, if you don't practice it, it's not Islamic. So do you practice muta? Ah, so a muta is okay, but not with his sister. Only his sister is not okay, you see? <laughs> yes, we do muta, but not with my sister, okay? This is why I'm saying Islam is not exist. Because if you are really not ashamed of Islam, then you will not say what you just said. You will say, okay, what's wrong with Muta? I says, my sister can't do that. But because you know that this is a cult teaching, you claim to be a Muslim. You say to me, Islam is a growing, but as you see, Islam is a shrinking in your house. Because why you don't want to let your sister do Muta? Unless you are not a believer. So don't tell me Islam is growing. Islam is shrinking, starting from your house itself. For if you are ashamed of a teaching of your God, Allah, then you cannot be proud to be Muslim. As simple as that. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for being here. We have enough for today. Look like we don't have a... Uh, We don't have any Abdul to call us. Any Abdul before we go? Mayday, mayday. Uh, can I explain muta? It's very easy. You offer a Muslim woman five dollars, let's say, or three dollars, or ten dollars, depend how expensive she is, and in return she will take off her panty, and you have sex with her for a great period of time, which means you have to make it clear for how long and how much. You, you cannot say I want to sleep with you only. She, you have to say to her how much she will pay, and for how long, and she have to repeat after you says I agree for such and a such amount. And for such and a such time and if she do so then her panty is halal so you can take her to your elevator and you can have bang bang being her like you know to say you, you have a building 50 40 floor by the time you arrive for 50 40 floor you will have 40 orgasm and then you know let's say you agree for five, uh, five minutes so you have to pay her right away after you finish before the time is up and when the time is up bingo Okay, and this is supposed to according to Muslim. This is marriage <laughs> And they say that we Muslims are against adultery We Muslims against adultery if this is not adultery what adultery then All right 
anyway guys look like we have no muslims today i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you don't forget to watch the video which is made yesterday and i made actually two videos yesterday actually it's today in the early morning uh, uh you know i did not sleep until five in the morning in the morning uh there's two videos i made if you watch the video i made just the previous one you will see in the info down not in this video the the previous one the one before this one you will see in the info a link for YouTube, which is a different channel, which is my other channel. Click on it and you can watch the video there. We were spanking Abdul about something he said about the Bible. So I want to say thank you for being here, my friend, and happy happy to have you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and may the Lord bless the coming week. Christ is Lord and Islam is false and we prove it every day. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.